Hello, we're back, and I have been irresponsible. Um, well, I, th I thought I was being responsible, but in doing so, I've been irresponsible. Um, I, okay, so I, 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 you know, it wasn't even because I was completely distracted by Risk of Rain Returns, which I have been playing, I bought it yesterday, as soon as it came out, I've been playing that. Really good, uh, but I did specifically put time aside earlier today, and I, I launched the game. And admittedly, I should have gone a bit further than the local assassin. Yeah, I I do deserve that assassin. I'm I'm not gonna not gonna not gonna balk at that or complain at all. Uh, but no, no, it depends what you mean by new game or new game. It's not a, it's new to me. It's not a game that's come out recently. It's like 2015, 2016. This I think. Um, but you know, it's another remedy. Uh, well, I was gonna say another remedy banger. I I expect it probably will be. Um, because Remedy generally does make good games. I've, I've found that generally to hold true. Um, just, uh, it's one that I've not played, um, and didn't receive as much critical acclaim. Anyway, so yeah, the thing was, I had the game installed. I did have it installed. It was on my hard drive, and I launched it. And admittedly, at that time, I should have launched the game and seen how the lo load times were and tested the audio, but I got distracted and I didn't. Uh, and then I got around to doing it like 20, 30 minutes ago. And admittedly, I did skip a cutscene just so we could, you know, just so I could load into gameplay and see if things were running okay. Um, but it was like, I, I was like, oh, even with the cutscene skip, like, that's kind of a long load. It'd probably be a good idea to move this to the SSD. Uh, and then I started doing that. And uh, that brings us to uh, the the current time because it's still it's still going. Uh, it's pretty close, though. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's just going to take a minute. Um, you own a Steam Deck? No, I do not. Uh, I've got absolutely no use for one um, whatsoever. If I want to play a game, I have my PC. Um, and I, I don't need anything else to do that for me. And I don't need to go game anywhere else. So it's not for me. Uh, a lot of people uh, enjoy them, which is good. Um, one thing that kind of annoys me, I was thinking about this, I think, yesterday. Um, was that whenever I look at Steam reviews for a game, which I always do, whether it's a, a game that I'm getting or a, even a game that I've already got or a game that I'm considering getting. Um, oh, oh, we're good. We did it. Okay. It's, I, I, it came up with the... Yeah, there you go. All right, good. Oh, that didn't take too long. Thank God. Let me just uh, get rid of that real quick and we'll launch the game. That was going to be... I mean, it's already... It's already embarrassing, but um, it would have been way, way more emba embarrassing if it took longer. But yeah, I look at Steam reviews a lot, and oh, I didn't actually get rid of the thing properly yet. Hold on. Studio mode. There you go. Um, and yeah, there are often times where, like, there will be a review, and it's like saying absolutely nothing about the actual game in question. It's just like, oh, I have a really specific problem on Steam Deck. <laughs> it's like it's not a helpful review, is it? And and actually, you know, on the other on the other hand, uh, there are reviews, positive reviews, um, that just that are that say nothing but, oh, this works great on my Steam Deck, which is you know great. That's really good for you. Congratulations. Um, but it's not it's not a good review. It's it's a very very minor complaint, uh, very petty on my part. But yeah, I've got got no use for a Steam Deck, like I say. But yeah, if that if that took any longer, um, I probably would have done a little bit of Risk of Rain. Um, hi, gal. Hello. Uh, you you arrived just in time, because I just had to reinstall the game on the SSD. Um, it didn't take too long, but I started it like 15 minutes ago, <laughs> so it only just finished. But now, now we can play a game. And like I say, yeah, hopefully it's good. Hopefully. It's, um, hold on, it's not like an, uh, cause I, oh, have the, have the settings changed, actually, because I reinstalled it, that's something to consider. But yeah, it's a, it's a movie game, it's a very movie game, well, no, it's a, it's a TV show game. Uh, yeah, everything has been reset, that's good. Might have to tweak with the graphic settings, yeah, we don't have, uh, portless windowed or, you know whatever you call it these days uh otherwise should be fine subtitles on that's good um 
but yeah, I, I, you know, like I say, I've seen little bits of the gameplay, and just seeing the gameplay, I'm like, oh, that really looks like Control, which, you know, makes sense, because Control is the game that they made after this. Um, been so long since launch day that you don't remember much. Yeah, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I heard much about it when it came out. I knew it was coming out. It was like I saw the trailers and stuff, and it's like, oh, you know, time, time game. Hi, I spun. Because the time game is a genre that I like. That part and that other part. I don't know anything about the story. I know, I know that there are actors in it, and that. Oh fuck, that reminds me. Because I know a bunch of the actors in this. Um, we will talk about that. Um, I mean, because they're fairly big actors, but I don't actually know what the main guy's been in. Hold on. Let's check in on that. Um, yeah, didn't never never played it or anything. Just saw a cool time game. And yeah, like I was saying, time game. Th there should be more games that let you fuck around with time powers. Is my point. I I I remember some absolute classics, uh, some not so great classics, but still classics. Um, I'm trying to like t type and talk at the same time. Just I I'm trying to run a. a parallel processing which i'm not very good at um but uh time shift i think was it yeah time shift and uh singularity were games that i really liked back in the day yeah sean ashmore is our main guy what has he been in oh he's in the x-men movies oh, okay he's in uh oh he's in the other frozen not the big popular one um oh he's in alan wake 2 oh shit as a voice a voice credit i've only just found that out right now well there you go that's great uh he's in the boys which i've not really seen well it'll be, it'll be nice to have him again in alan wake 2 all the more reason to play this game actually shit yeah there you go justified talk to oh shot i'm cia it's playing this game part of your plan you're a big rope right i forgot he was he was in that as well wasn't he uh not uh Main guy. Uh, oh, fuck. I should just keep the IMDb page open so I can remind myself of all the actors' names. Aiden Gillen. There you go. Um, I always... Well, I mean, I've seen I've seen uh, Dark Knight Rises a bunch of times. Um, but I always think of him as Littlefinger or whatever he's called in Game of Thrones. Uh, but yeah, he's in this. I only found out like a few hours ago when I was making the thumbnail for today that Courtney Hope is in this. Who is, um, who is the main character in Control. So I'm pretty happy about that because I really like her in Control. Um, and, you know, Lance Reddick, uh, R.I.P. My man. Fucking love Lance Reddick. And I think I've enjoyed everything uh, that I've consumed that has Lance Reddick in it. Even Destiny. He's great in Destiny. He's in Blue Books, the main character. Oh, okay. I've not seen that. Uh, yeah, there's Dominic Monaghan, who is, um, which, uh, which Hobbit? He's, uh, he's Merry. He's Merry in Lord of the Rings as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. We'll see how it plays out. I, I, I don't know what the ratio of, like, gameplay to TV episodes is. I, I think I remember one of the things that I heard about this game back in the day when it came out was like, oh, you know, if you just want to play a game, it's not that great. I've heard people say that the TV show element is good. Um, but it's just that if, you, if you're focused on playing the game, then it's kind of annoying because you have to watch like an entire episode of a TV show, which goes on for God knows how long before the actual gameplay segments. But we'll see how it is. I've never, you know, I've never done like a proper watch along of, of a thing, have I? But... You know, it's a game, so it's it's okay. Anyway, let's start the game. We play on hard because I do love a challenge. It's true. Yep, fuck my test save. Don't care. Don't care, didn't ask. But yeah, I'm curious because I do love Control's gameplay. And I like, you know, like I say, I love the idea of fucking around with time powers. Doing cool time shit really appeals to me. The number one killer is time. The number one killer is time. Yeah. And you it know, it's Remedy. There's going to be some good shit, at the very least. This That's like the know. the level of trust I hold in Remedy. Time broke. Even if something that they Roll make is flawed. The end of time. Ooh. You know, even if something that they make we is flawed, the there's going to be Things qualities of it that are great, that make it worth, pay, uh, worth playing. 
He has superpowers. Jack. Okay. Both. Okay. Time battles. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel is involved. Yeah. Jack. Need more time powers in games. Forward. It's great. It's okay. always good. I need to play first? Time Shift again. Like, Singularity is good, but Singularity is very unfinished, and they didn't really get to do much of anything with the arrived, time powers, except, like, you know, destroy and rebuild boxes and kill people. I came um, back home to see my best friend, but Time Shift's pretty good for that. You can just walk around in the stop time and shoot bullets that will, my brother Will was a scientist. you know, he was also hit involved. people in the head once time unstops. That shit rocks. Cheating. Um... Toho Luna Nights. I need to get around to playing that at some point. That's another time game. Hey, come on! Jesus! Watch where you're going, man. You weren't fucking Back looking on. as you were crossing the road, no. dipshit. Yeah, she was at least to some degree in the wrong there. She was not looking. She wasn't crossing it like a proper crossing point. Universe. I don't know if that's a thing in America. I know you have like jaywalking as a crime, but I don't fully understand what that is. Might be related. I don't know. Thanks for the ride. No problem. Thanks, taxi guy. Or or whatever. Oh yeah. A little bit of little bit of stutter there. We should be okay though. You'd been away for six years. It looks well, okay touch, in the capture. Well, Let me know much. if it's laggy. It I can I turn it down. This is on like the highest uh sentence. Oh Luna Knights, you get knives, you get knives, everyone gets knives. Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing that. At some point, that and um, Deedlet and Wonder Labyrinth, which is by the same devs, um, kind of a similar situation where uh, I I don't know much about Tuhu and I don't know much about Record of Lotus War, but those games look really good. Go find Paul. No experience playing. Uh, let me know if this is too laggy, especially when I'm looking around, because it's hard. It like I think it's it might. Oh, oh wait, is that Lance Reddick? Wait a minute. Or am I being racist? Is it? Good morning. Yeah, it's Lance Reddick. Yeah. Hey, there he is. We got to see him straight away. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, Lance Reddick is just standing around. They know he's the. Uh, he knows he. Uh, he the, well, they know here. he's what everyone's here to see. Head into the campus. What about to who? Any of the games? Right, yeah. Same for me. Um, uh, Grayfruit, who I talk about a lot. Did a couple of videos just going uh, from his experience going through the Tuhu games for the first time. So that's about the experience that I've got. You know, I know stuff about the characters from being on the internet for long enough. Look at that Z fighting! Ooh, look at that! The shit on the floor! That is just absolutely classic Z fighting. It doesn't get more iconic than that, does it? That's incredible. Absolutely fantastic. Conserve the library. It's like the fucking... Uh, the Hill Valley Clock Tower in uh, in Back to the Future. They're gonna tell. It, it, oh god, it it is. It's gonna be fucking Back to the Future reference. Oh no. Oh no. Please tell me lightning isn't gonna strike the clock tower and, and freeze the the clock at the time where like the time travel event happens. I I wasn't even thinking because this is a time travel game. But no, uh, that's gonna be a Back to the Future thing. Oh Jesus. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. Okay. Oh god, okay. Locate narrative objects in the world to immerse yourself deeper in Quantum Break story. You can review previously collected narrative objects inside the game's timeline menu. Uh, let me just see if I can ch do a do a bit of a do a bit of a test. If I like quickly, oh no, I need to have it playing. Yeah, that'll do it. And then I can just look around at the street. Oh, that looks that looks fine. Yeah, okay, good stuff, good stuff. It's hard to test for that. Some might see this as less than 60 at times, but you're still used to sub 60, plus it feels nostalgic that way. Yeah, it's like, I mean, this isn't 7th gen anymore. It was supposed to be like a, an Xbox One exclusive back in the day, I think. I was seeing articles about that when I was looking for stuff for thumbnails. Um, obviously not anymore. I saw an article that was like, no, uh, Quantum Break will not be on Steam, <laughs> which aged well. Uh, though I am playing this on Game Pass. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Are you, uh, you crunk? Rough night, huh? Hmm. Oh, it's for... Um, <laughs> I, it's just... Whatever's done doesn't even matter anymore. I'm... 
Um, Very articulate, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, I, w I wonder now if they're going to do a Back to the Future thing. Oh, God. You know, my 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 intended angle going into this is gonna was gonna be like, oh, you know, I've seen Primer and I mostly understood it. Let's see how I fare against Quantum Break. Oh shit! Phone. Oh, Jack, you just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's yeah. Uh, when you hit the I want to look at all these things. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Why Sounds am, suspicious. Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Yeah. So, yeah, Monarch. Not, um, not legendary monster verse Monarch. Different Monarch. Uh, and, you know, up. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no. It's. Wait, did this stuff move? No, I don't think it did. No. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, not important. Um, what was I going to say? I had like five things on my mind. Monarch. I don't think it was that. I think I finished that thought. Oh, yeah. So, people are protesting Monarch here, which are probably going to be the ones back in the time travel. So, do people know? And they say, they're they saying, like, hands off our history and shit like that. Do, do they know? It, like, is it publicly known that Monarch are working on time travel? Oh, here we go. Oh, or is it just... No, it's just about the library. Right. Monarch Solutions wants to tear down the pride of Riverport University. The beautiful and historic library building generations have studied it. This is a part of our heritage, but they don't care. Are you going to put up with that? Of course you aren't. Are you going to take action? Of course you aren't. I mean, ah. Uh, first of all, go online. Use hashtag save the library and get loud. The only way they'll stop is they look bad enough doing it. Secondly, join our protest at the university on October 8th. Let's show them there are still people left in Riverport who give a crap. Okay. I see. It's... It's it's dramatic irony because they don't know about the time travel, but we the viewers know. I love dramatic irony. It's always good. Big company can just make a new building. Yeah, I well, so a, a lot of times it's like, oh, this is part of our heritage. It's like, eh, it's not really that important, is it? But like an old library building, I can see the value in keeping that around. Like, you know, if you replace it, it's probably not going to have the same style of architecture. Um, and I guess stuff like universities and college campuses and such always kind of give a big shit about their history and heritage. It's part of how they get their fucking money through donations from alumni. Hmm. Huh. That's vaguely ominous. Yeah. Already have Wikipedia <laughs> looking up. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I guess you could say if we could take, like, some fancy, uh, like topographic scanning cameras in oh god people are fucked up uh but in the uh, in the university way than the being killed at a protest way um but if you just go in and uh, scan the entire interior scan the exterior then model that and then just make it explorable in like vr or something that would be good i guess anyway how's it going protests going well some protest yeah, it's looking like a bunch of students just used it as an opportunity to get rowdy and wasted. Which, uh... Well, I guess that's how it is. People don't care about the clock tower. Yeah, it's a, it, it looks nice, though. It's a good centerpiece. It's a very nice... I mean, look at this fucking shit. This is a, a fairly well-funded uh, university, by the looks of it. Um... Yeah, it's a nice... It's a, it's a nice place. Look at this shit! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit. This is insane. It's like very impressive. They even put a sign up there. That's nice. I mean, imagine just hanging out down there. You can go sit down in one of those chairs. Like have a meal or some snacks or something. While just looking out of this. You got this massive metal emblem down at the bottom. It's fucking insane this campus. Hey, you got so many good buildings. Hey it's radio shows. We Alan White now. Mm. Lightly inhabited space, all the sounds reminds you of uh, Detroit and Human Revolution. I can feel it actually, yeah. Especially like a bit more so when we were out there. It didn't quite have as many. I mean, it didn't look like a university canvas, did it? Why isn't this subtitled though, game? The protesters are saying that building's a part of our heritage, and we don't need 
monarch gobbling up yet another bit of river pot. Personally, mm. I'm with the activists on this one. Yeah. Well, it is it is anti-corporation action, which is pretty based, regardless of whether or not I care about what's actually being fought against. Because fuck corpos. Didn't the radios have subtitles in Alan Way? I'm fairly sure, right? Funk douchebag. Say this. Yeah, I suppose. I think this is a done deal. Yeah. Monarch's gonna take that library down tomorrow, no matter what we say. Hmm. Might as well pack it up and go home, get ready and for I'm, the next fight. Yeah, Cause thinking you know, like it's not it's not just gonna be yet, right? university university funding that replaces the library with whatever it gets replaced by. You know, it's gonna be corporate money as well. I'm just gonna tweak the volume. Let me know if it's too quiet. Hmm. Yeah, registration on the left. Oh, I'm gonna have a thorough look around. Um, also, very, very well done tilting that the the handwritten sign down on the right a bit to to give you more space around the physics center uh, indicator because that's where we're supposed to go. It kind of highlights that among the rest of the sign. Don't know if that's intentional or not. It easily could be. I'm McFest. Ooh. Hockey team tryouts. I, this is what I'm talking about with the uh, with remedy. One of the many components of the remedy magic is just being able to read some shit. Just get some of that world building from every little detail. Is this gonna be the same over here? This one? No, there's new shit here. Oh, gods of Asgard! Yo, yo, tribute. But still. Yo, I didn't know they were going to be in this. Okay, does that mean this is in the same setting then? Or is it just a... A more of a lightweight thing? Because obviously I know Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2 and Control are all in the same setting. Because they're directly connected. Um, but I didn't know about this game. Quantum Break, well like Tiny Recess. Oh damn. Yes, Semnar, Dr. Sophia Amaral. Uh, Henry Kim Thier, the recently appointed head of Monarch Solutions Physics Research Division. Gotta get my... Gotta get my words out properly. Can't, I can't think of the big words I'm trying to think of today. Uh, Dr. Sophia Amaral has taken much of her inspiration from the theories of Riverport's own Dr. William Joyce, and now devotes herself to discovering practical applications for chronon particles. Hmm. Her presentation will highlight the evolution of chronon particle research will be followed by a Q&A focused on career advice for aspiring physicists. Hmm. Wonder what you could do with chronon particles. So, I don't know if there's going to be an old gods thing, or if it's just this reference, and we're not going to get a song. Because I'm fairly sure I'd listen to all the old gods songs. Um, uh, And I, I didn't think there was one in this game. Hmm. Hmm. Can we go into any of the other buildings? I doubt it. Okay. Well, let's just cycle around the left here, see what's going on with the library. And then we'll head around. Monarch take- stop Monarch takeover! We're piling up benches, baby! Like it's the opening of uh, DMC4. Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. Hmm. I like the idea of the um, the internal monologue not actually being an internal monologue this time. It serves the same purpose as in, like, you know, Max Payne and Alan Wake. But it's actually flash-forward dialogue, or this is a flashback with future dialogue over it at the interview. Like, it's Persona 5, but the gameplay's good. We got a banger playing. How's it going? Hello. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there were legitimate protesters, and it got kind of hijacked. Down. Yeah, tell me about it. Definitely oh, not a serial killer. Awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. Okay. Okay. T tell me more. All right. What's going on here? Yeah. What's the deal? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? I wouldn't like that. Uh, I mean, is it your personal number? history yeah. though? Because how long you been a student here, bro? 
is over a hundred years old. It's part of the mm. city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. I mean, if it means we why? get time travel, then the might be worth it. Can I can I have the chart? No. There are no further dialogue options. We're just gonna stare at each other. Oh! Oh, can I check out the chart? Oh, this chart! Oh! Not a handheld chart. This is pretty cool. Hey! Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research mm. facility. Monarch problems. Selling out Riverport since 1999. Mm, I'm, I'm, I mean, look will will you let me read? Or do you want to talk to me now? Blind to it. That mm. doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? Yeah. Right. Enjoy your booty call. It's not, not like that. Not exactly. Quantum really do be breaking. I joke aside, it's not broken yet. We're just looking around. The quantum is intact so far. We have brought out all major tech and security companies from Riverport using earnings from shady investments. Evaded questioning regarding who was truly running Monarch. What is up with that? Huh? The, the fucking shadow government is running Monarch? Bought out major media outlets. Questions stop being asked. Yeah, that'll do it. God, I hate the media and corporations. Bought Gull Island. Throw down war monuments to construct R&D facilities. Uh, demolish report central train station to build Monarch Tower. Yeah, it seems pretty bad, actually. you think people would really give a shit about the war monuments and the fucking train station. That would, that would be like a blow to people's ability to get around. That would suck. Purchased entire industrial district and dry docks, putting thousands of people out of work. Aim to demolish Riverport University Historical Library to replace it with yet another research facility. Like, the research facility, the, the library seems like the one of the less important things that they've done. Like, the, the they've done a lot of damage, clearly. Got a chashu pork. I hope you enjoy it. What is Monarch's agenda? Nobody knows. Who runs the company? Nobody knows. When do we want answers? Now. I mean, yeah, is a, is a company allowed to do that? Just like, we do, we just don't know who the CEO is. We do not know. It's like when you're at a, um, when you're at an auction and there's someone calling in for, uh, uh, for their bids. It, but it's just someone calling in to run the company. Actually, that's very similar to something in Control, come to think of it. Unrelated, almost certainly. Hmm. It's just a big-ass TV. This could very easily be stolen. Or I guess it maybe wouldn't be because it's very big. Ooh, there we go. Remedy moment. It's not I like caught a glimpse. Oh, it's an ocean. It's Alan. It's the last line from Alan Wake. Huh? He's been gone for five years. What? Dark matter and dark energy constitute huh? over 95% of our And it's Sam Wake. Huh? We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. We've we've got to be playing. We've got to play all the way through this now, so we can get this Alan Wake content. I didn't know about this. Every story finds its right. It's Sam Wake again. He's got the clicker. Oh. Oh God. This is this is really important. Also, you know, female FBI agent looking at cork boards. It's extremely Alan Wake too. Alex Casey! Yo! They were they were planning the shit with Sam Lake in Alan Wake 2 this far back. Mr. Scratch? Well, I don't care about Quantum Break anymore. This is happening. It's like way, way better produced than any of the stuff that was in Alan Wake, the, the TV stuff. Uh -huh. Return! Yo! But we played out the story of Return, it was different. Two faces. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Uh -huh. Okay, are we gonna get more of that? Because that was pretty just fucking huge on its own. I mean, that you could take that a few ways, right? You could take that as like, oh, it's it's still a different setting where, but where 
return is its own story and not real. But still, that was really important. Because I, we, I, I've, I've been told. I mean, oh, I know I been for Sam Lake is like a character in 2, and he's supposed to be Alex Casey. Lists. Alex Casey being, you know, uh, Alan Wake's character from his books that is just Max Payne. Holy shit. Maybe AD, AW2's where Quantum Break converges and gets pulled in. Pulled in. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, protest's over. At home. Now I, I got things to do. Holster that safety whistle. Yeah. Prick. What? You're the one telling me to fuck off, guy. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. Hmm. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Yeah. Was that supposed to be a I got someone to meet. <laughs> That's adorable. Just walk away. We're grandstanding, baby. No. Liam we'll talk Burke, to you more. A monarch security officer. Our first uh. meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Ooh. And that's an advantage of having, uh, you know, the monologue occurring later on. Is you get to have little uh, little bits of foreshadowing and, and shit like that. It's neat. I'm still not over that fucking Alan Wake thing. That was sick. In memoriam, Dr. Henry Kim. 1965-2016. Which is the, game, the, the year this game set it. Our dear friend and colleague, Henry Kim, PhD, passed away on Friday, February 12th, 2016, at the age of 50. As a professor at Riverport University, Dr. Kim was praised for his tireless devotion to his field and his students. Both Dr. William Joyce and Dr. Alton Meyer, whose research efforts eventually led to the discovery of the Meyer-Joyce field for his students. He later, became, uh, he later made a name for himself as the director of Monarch Solutions Physics Research Division. Uh-oh. While maintaining this position, he also contributed heavily to research at Riverport University, lending his services to the development of Project Promenade, based on his students' discoveries, which he continued to work on until the time of his death. Hmm. hmm. All serene. Not exactly modest, are we, Paul? Is that is that little finger? Yeah, there he is. I couldn't see him because my head was in the way. With a track record of extremely profitable business ventures behind him, Paul Serene joined Riverport University in 2010 to head one of the most significant physics research projects the university has ever seen. He's the youngest project director in the history of our university and by far the most successful to date. His involvement has encouraged a flood of high-profile investments that resulted in the extremely ambitious yet unrevealed quantum physics project referred to as Project Promenade. In his own words, I'm not a scientist myself, unless it may come as a surprise to many that I fought to obtain the position as Project Director Development... Uh, project Director Development... Huh? Here at the university? I don't I don't know if that's right, bro. Uh, for me, it's t a dream come true. Growing up, my... Uh, growing up, my best... Fuck, I can't fucking speak. Slow down. Growing up, my best friend was the brother of renowned quantum physicist William Joyce. I've always been fascinated by William's work. Wait, that's... That's us! That's our boy! So our boy is, is something, Joyce. Okay, I've always been fascinated by William's work, and his publications from 97 to 99 were groundbreaking for the scientific, uh, scientific community. Why can't I talk today? What's wrong with me? This usually happens later in the stream. As a businessman, I've been able to help shape a path to create practical applications for William's work by building on the foundation that he created with a group of immensely talented physicists. That was the basis for Project Promenade, and the results have been absolutely revolutionary. Paul Serene's favorite sports team is the Riverport Rexes. You can see him front row at every game. Hmm. Oh, nothing. Else. I thought there'd be more. But okay. Hmm. Speaking of... Made a long trip just to see a research project? Media well, where the lines, there is a, a time machine made in a university. I think they do that in the Happy Death Day movies. I haven't seen them. I think they touch on it more in the second one. Hey! In the flesh. There he is. Esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. He got to bring Shake a friend, and it's me. Shut up and bring it in. Yeah. Welcome home. Yeah. And he's got the the old gods Six tribute years. tour shirt. Now we're starting to think he'd never come back. Yeah. He's got good taste, clearly. Come on. Hmm. I guess old gods are doing so well since the comeback with Barry. That um, that they've got like tribute class. bands Thank again you, now. To step up from our van trip to Utah. I, I gotta look around. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. 
Not allowed to speak unless for reading, I always something to interrupt. Yeah, on his it's gonna happen with Will a cinematic game. Had, it's a shame because I wanna, I wanna difficult. give everything the proper attention it deserves and ab absorb every little bit of content. But you know, with with trying to stream the game, it's always gonna be a bit more difficult. But I'll do my best because Remedy do really good work with their worlds and their narratives, and that's like half of what I'm here for. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just looking around at everything. I'm just so curious. Look at this. I want to have a look around. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a mm. lack of milking money out of wealthy investors. Yeah. It's a fancy fucking building, man. Can you even read that in this doc? Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Job uh, fair poster. You didn't join in. About to graduate and you're looking for the next step. Your future starts here. Well, it used to be our forte. You're the one that sold Monarch Solutions is the number one employer. Oh, God, they're going on. Well, thank you for the cooling. You should give it a try. I can have that while they're talking. One sec. Of course they fucking stop talking the moment I have my coolant. But thank you anyway. Uh, but yeah, Monarch Solutions, the number one employer of university graduates in Riverport. We're actively seeking new employees with various divisions, including hey, Energy Jack. Solutions, Security Over Enforcement, here. Marketing, Cronon Research, Robotic Engineering, hell yeah. Customer Service, Information Technology. Attend our 1 p.m. seminar with Monarch's Martin Hatch to learn the many benefits of working for Monarch Solutions. Be a part of our bright new future. Be a part of the Monarch family. Yeah, it sounds like they're just taking over the entire city. I'm trying to get all the, you know, they got all the the bright young young minds they farm There's out of here. Than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still yeah, what's going on? Huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man, mm. look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, mm. Why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations? Would you perhaps say that you're gonna make history? Hmm. I would never. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, oh, projector. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. I'm now, looking at nooks and crannies. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. I want the presentation. Give me the, give me, give me the full welly. Give me all of it. Get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. Come on. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Oh, got an achievement. Great. If you insist. Thanks. Xbox achievement sound. Time. Primary drive as a species. Over time, we have. God, I love it when Remedy is projecting, like, doing actual projections in games. So you're, like, projecting shit onto characters and onto walls. Like, not even fake projection, where it's just a video playing on a texture. God, I love Remedy. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time potentially allowing travel through both space well kind of but generally only ago, forward right william joyce your brother hey it's mary look at him but he's tall <laughs> tall mary cursed all-encompassing field enabling the constant and steady progression of time mm -hmm. here at project promenade we have combined both these of my techno Bible a way to manipulate that field and the results are staggering yeah to what degree though what are we talking are we making plants That's grow faster solving now. world hunger what are we doing primer you said the thing <laughs> All right, let's do this I was actually wondering if if there'd be any references to primer well, you know my brother spent years stuck it's kind of niche world. but they probably watched it over at, over at Remedy. They have good taste. When Dr. Kim oh, away, there's the Monarch Tower. The obvious choice to bring into hmm. Yeah, I do like Primer. I should watch it again. I did, like I said, I did mostly understand Primer when I watched it until the end. And then things went kind of fucking insane. And I was, uh, I was like, wait, no, what just happened? I was trying to, I was working at max capacity trying to figure out what just happened and then new shit's happening. Um, but now I've got a, after looking it up, I've got a decent idea of what happened in Primer. <laughs> it's a good-ass movie. Hmm. Looking very much like an actual experimental environment. Oh, haze? Oh, God. It is kind of haze colors, you're right. Oh, fuck. It's going to be better than haze, surely. 
five minutes before fracture in time. Oh no. Yeah? Oh shit. <laughs> you guys must have some budget. It's pretty sick, yeah. What is all this? What does it do? Future, Jack. You were looking at the biggest discovery of our time. Our it's time. But Will's the Full scientist. time. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. Hmm. I need someone I can trust. I'm gonna go look around. I need you to help me convince Will. Ah, yeah, good. And there you are. Now, now, he doesn't need to hear all this. Oh, uh, no, it's like now, uh, you know, Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a trained yeah. professional or something like that. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Mm. Scared off the investors. They're waiting for you, Gordon. Dangerous. In the test chamber. With no evidence. It works. Highly trained. That's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get me started on Half-Life quotes. We'll be here all day. What do we got? You always did drag me into Aww. situations. Me drag you, one word, Utah. Haha. <laughs> mm. All right. Touche. And from what I hear, you've attracted plenty of trouble without me these past few years. Well, mm. apparently it's my forte. Uh, is that the thing we need to do, or? Oh no. I see okay. Of personal space nah, I'm reading your emails. You. Hey, somebody's got to keep tabs on you. We absolutely cannot afford to lose momentum at this point. If we put Project Promenade on hold, then we'll lose every Cronon specialist on staff overnight. Monarch's paying double the wages we are. It'd be an absolute nightmare. Okay, so we're, like, there's probably some Monarch funding somewhere, but this is not a, a direct Monarch project, which is all the more impressive yeah. considering what they've got going on Come here. On. I don't like it when games tell me to hurry the fuck up when there is also, like, shit to look at and shit to read. Don't do that. That's bad. Uh, but yeah, our staff is irreplaceable, and I'm struggling to hold on to them as it is. I've known William Joyce since childhood. There's no doubt that he's a genius, but he also has a history of paranoia and mental instability. He's lost sight of the big picture. His concerns regarding Project Promenade are outlandish, uh, outlandish, unfounded, and based on ludicrous conjecture. conjecture. Hmm. Are we going to use it for evil? The only reason we pulled Will in as an advisor is because there are no other qualified specialists available who the investors will trust to sign off on the project now that Dr. Kim is gone. We can't just wait for the board to find a suitable replacement because there are none. Kim approved the figures long before his death. I refuse to let Will sabotage everything we're building here. I need you to keep the investors distracted. Buy me time for a final decision is reached. I'll find a way to gather the proof we need in order to proceed to beta testing. Give me 48 hours. I'll make this right. Paul, investors have made their decision. Based on William Joyce's concerns, they are halting all funding for Project Promenade until an equally qualified specialist can be assigned to the project to perform further inspection. I did everything I could to sway, you, uh, sway the vote, but the only board member who voted in your favor was Martin Hatch. We brought up William Joyce's questionable ment mental health, but the damage was already done. You planted the seed of doubt. Let me know how you wish to proceed. Hmm... Maybe this will tear uh, space and encounter the Alan Wake control setting. Could be. Imagine wanting to get time travel and the hits finds you. Yeah, I mean, maybe in in seeking out time travel, we accidentally open up a dimensional gateway. And then we've got dark presences and, and the hiss and fucking Polaris and God knows what else. And Hadron, Hadron coming through. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Hmm. I appreciate at least that he only told me to hurry up once. And wasn't just on a loop with it. That would annoy me very badly. Jack. You know asking for her help is not easy for me. Mm-hmm. You've got no funding. Trouble. So does he want me to convince William? You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly oh. speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust okay. to help me with this. Like, what laws Whatever are we we'll breaking, do, exactly? I, right. I love my older brother. Are there specific laws against time easy. travel experiments? It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Okay. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Hmm. Oh, God, look at this fucking time bathosphere. I don't trust this. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It looks fucking amazing, though. This is absolutely some remedy shit. Just the peak of detail. Everything is perfect. Where does this airlock lead? 
Oh. Oh, that's a deep. <laughs> How many time travel tropes can we get through? So yes. Ooh. Corridor schematics. Time machine Clockwise, functional basics. Forward progression in time counterclockwise. Oh. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. <laughs> yes. Years ahead of our time. Hmm. It's a cool idea though, having to like walk to to go back or forward in time. Okay. Input date. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I mentioned that I love Back to the Future? Some of my favorite the movies ever. The lever over there, labeled Chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure yeah. it remains stable. This is less like the uh, the resonance cascade experiment and more like uh, uh, helping out with operating the teleport in the start of Half Life Two, and sending Alex over to Eli and the gang. Just need like a battery to pop out the wall or something or a cable. Press W to activate the core. Gameplay. Oh, I have to keep pressing it. I gotta hold it. That's advanced gameplay. That's just the Chronon conduit initiating. Okay. Keep going. Fucking pump it. Sure it's supposed to do that? It looks and sounds cool. Oh, look at that. Visual effects. Love me some light Black bending. Hole. What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. <laughs> Just like old times, eh? Slightly like the idea of being near and especially us. falling into a black hole terrifies me. Also, uh, it's, uh, they're doing the best they can. Uh, in theory, you know, that wouldn't be happening, would it? With, you know, gravitational lensing of light because we're in front of it. That wouldn't happen. But they're, they're doing their best. It's 2016. It's okay. Um, but yeah, that shit scares the hell out of me. <laughs> I don't want to go near this I thing at all. Palm past. Mm -hmm. I can tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far Might be opening up hell be. if it's like uh, the okay. movie The Black Hole, which is I a banger. Know. He played it cool. Seen that a bunch of times. But I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be What amazing. are we doing though? What are we doing, bro? You sure we're not opening a, a, a fracture in time? Because that's what the game said. Oh, it's for me. I'll pack my things and head to the a uh, airport ASAP. Whatever this is about, just make sure Will doesn't know I'm coming home. Not the kind of baggage I need to unpack right now. Uh-oh. Not getting along great. Yeah, it's a classic, the black hole. It's got a good little uh, drone-esque robot in it. Um, but yeah, spoilers, it ends with... go. Uh, the villain goes into the black hole and it's just hell in there. Um, and it's got a really good score as well. Very good. Uh, just put you a flight from Bangkok to Riverport. First class. What were you, what were you doing in Bangkok? Jack boy? Jack my boy? Uh, taxi will be waiting for you at the airport when you get here and drive you straight to the university. Can't tell you any more over email, but we'll explain everything when you get here. You just saved my life. These aren't the ideal conditions for a reunion, but can't wait to see you again. Almost two decades of friends, not once have you ever asked for help. This must be bad. You okay? What kind of trouble are you in? Of course I'm in. I'm here for you, man. Currently in Bangkok, but I can find a way to Riverport as soon as possible. We'll wait by computer for further details. Oh, it's, it's like, you know, it's the way actual email chains are formatted. Where it's like you scroll down to see older e older emails. Yeah. Um, it's been weird because playing uh, Cyberpunk again, which I need to get back to. I've been playing fucking Risk of Rain. Um, they don't do it that way. They do um, oldest email first. Which is obviously better for reading. You know, it, it serves its purposes in actual emails. But when we're talking about, you know, for the sake of a player or a viewer in a video game or whatever... It's easier to just see the first email at the top, you know? But whatever. It's realistic. Uh, Jack, you know I'm the last person to ever ask for a favor, but I desperately need your help, man. Everything i built here, my entire career, is all at risk of crashing down if I don't do something. I need to take the only measure that will put this project back on track, but I can't do it alone. I need somebody I can truly trust to help me fix this. I need you to send me... 
five hundred dollars in Amazon. Uh, do, do Amazon even do gift cards? In in Apple Apple uh, fucking I don't know gift cards. Target gift cards. Do not redeem. Uh, where are you right now? I only have forty eight hours to set things right. I know reports the last place you want to be, but I can have a flight booked for you immediately. I realize this is by no uh, no means a small ask, but I'm desperate. I need to know if you're in. Well, let me just go to the bottom. Oh, there's a million here. Let's go, let's go from the start. Jesus Christ. Jack, it's been too long. You ever coming home for a visit? The ocean sewage musk of Riverport isn't luring you back yet? Not to brag, but they've recently deemed the city the coastal Detroit of America. Everyone is thrilled, as you can imagine. What's the latest? Where are you now? I'm guessing you're squatting in some Buddhist temple, making feng shui bracelets, brushing up on your, your Bikram. Calls for ignorance intentional to aggravate you. Still waiting for the day I get the call that you need me to bust you out of some shady Thai prison. I've got a fund on standby for your inevitable fuck-ups with the law. In all seriousness, though, hope you're doing well. Thinking about you. Miss you, man. By the way, this is going to come, come as a shock. Remember that big project I told you I'm heading at the university? They want to bring in your brother as a consultant for the final stages. Just wanted to let you know before you read it online or something. We'll be reading a lot more about our project once it goes public very, very soon. It'll be hard to avoid the buzz, even over there. We both know William can be difficult. Any advice on how best to deal with them? There's a lot of tags. Being a gift card, Steam's, uh, Steam has them. Yeah, yeah, I've I've received them before. They're uh, they're pretty good. I think you can get them like physically in stores as well. Um, I, I, in fact, I've seen um, unheard of scams that also ask for Steam gift cards, which you know it's mostly targeting like the elderly and not really the pe kind of people who would know what Steam is. Uh, but it, seeing it, knowing the actual context of what they're asking for is pretty funny. I've seen, like, some scam baiting videos on YouTube, which I like to go back to now and then. Uh, where, like, the guy would say, like, oh, I, I looked up this Steam thing and it looks like it's for video games. What are you, a, a small boy that, that wants to buy toys? Because the some scammers really don't like being called small boys for some reason. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. Like you can, well, you can do gift cards like physical gift cards and redeem them. I assume with just a code. I've not actually done it that way, uh, but you can just send them from account to account directly as well. So you don't even have to go out to a store to buy them. If you're already a Steam user, buying something for a Steam user, you can do it that way too, which is pretty nice. Uh, talking of Bathosphere, got you thinking about a uh, high-tech time-themed something shark type of game? That'd be cool. If we were taking, I mean, yeah, with this kind of tech would be cool. And that, was, uh, that kind of got me thinking of like the time machine, like that S, that kind of uh, design philosophy, I guess kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, but you know, that, that kind of style. That'd be interesting too. Uh, money bags, navigating my way through Vietnam, heading back to Thailand in the near future. He'll be keeping that fun uh, stacked because I'm bound to make some bad decisions along the way. Actually, I got in a little bit of trouble down that way already, but I think it's all sorted now. And nobody made the mistake of calling the cops. Jack, what have you been up to? Jesus. How's the high life? Saw an article on you recently. Top 30 entrepreneurs under 30 or something. Still wearing that ridiculous overpriced watch, I see. About Will. What can I say, really? Clearly, I'm not the expert on dealing with my brother. The reason we haven't talked in six years. Best advice I can give you is this. Lose the watch. Hmm. Will's in good hands, don't worry. I'll stop wearing the watch when you stop stealing fugly ram statuettes for souvenirs from police stations. Never let that one go, will you? Oh, it's like the one that was in the office just there. The ram statuette. Ah! It's all coming together. I keep the photos, my phone background. Your noble protest still provides me with inspiration. Travel safe. It's borderline creepy. Best of luck finishing up the project. Talk soon. And this is where I got to. Okay. Okay. Uh, local stores sell them, or the gift cards, one of them being pay safe card. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, I've just got done reading through literally all of your emails with me. Emails that my character has already Here, seen. Take this. You need this key to activate the card. Ah, uh, yeah. It's one of one of these. Got to flip the key at the same time. Even though it's totally like. It would be completely feasible for one person to turn both these keys at the same time. Like, you totally don't need a second person. These are not... They're not far enough away from each other to prevent someone from doing that. There's no obstruction in the middle preventing someone from doing that. You could put them in, like, se separate little rooms. 
with glass or something. But no, you could just stretch your arms out a bit and do this. It'd be fine. Oh well, it's a trope. Ready to Gotta do it. At the same time to activate. Oh, security precautions. Gameplay. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Yeah, it's worse probably. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Mm. Three, two, one. Let's freaking go. Time travel. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. Hmm. Oh, the corridor deploys. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's cool. Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor. Okay. So it's the kind of time travel where you need that you can only time travel to places where the time machine already exists, which is something I've thought about before. Yeah, yeah. But like if you. Hmm. If you're gonna time travel, you need something. Well, you didn't need you didn't need to do the math so that you don't time travel to just empty space because you know everything is moving and isn't in the same place at every time. All you have to do is hit that switch. Okay. Yeah. So you could only go back in time for as long as the machine exists, but it means you could go forward. As much as you want for as long as the machine exists. Shifty eyes when the nuke was mentioned. Yeah. Minus two minutes to the past. Hmm. But he hasn't come out yet. Like, you know, if you if you're gonna do the test time travel, Jack, it's time. It is time. You're right. This is a lot to uh, take in. Give me a second. You would you would do the Back to the Future thing where you go like one minute into the future, right? Not two minutes into the past. Because, like, there's only, it's one, it's this one corridor, and there's the one airlock. So there's one enter, entry and exit point, right? It's not like the DeLorean, where you just drive it around. This thing is, is fixed. This thing is portable. So, like, what happens if you bump into yourself going into the machine? Like, while you're coming out? Is that, is that going to cause, like, a cascading paradox? Where you're gradually pausing each sequential self to time travel slightly later than the previous time the next part getting complicated you. But you, you, that's why you go forward go forward go. one minute in the future then we don't have to worry to about the paradoxes but yeah like the fact that he hasn't already Remember come out moment. implies that it's not gonna work oh they see i told you this is an issue just don't touch each other but this is already a problem Okay, I appreciate oh. though <laughs> what? that the that they're doing this. How? It's... <laughs> oh yeah. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it is. It's okay, stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's I, two of you. you I think there should, like this kind of situation, should not go on this any exactly longer than it needs to. to. I think you should That's go into the time machine now, me. so that you Future can cause this to happen, and then we can move on from future. it. It's an unresolved potential paradox. This needs to not happen. I think about time travel. Oh, no! Stop! Don't touch each other! Oh, Jesus Christ! Fucking... My robo heart skipped a beat. Jesus Christ. Alright, go on. Go. Yeah, this is how they manage the two minutes. It's because they need to have a conversation. Yes. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. Okay, I appreciate I at least that we've established early that, you know, you can touch your... You can come into contact with your previous self and not explode the universe. Which is a common concern in time travel. I'm here, it's already happened. Hmm. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Look, yeah, it was impressive. That's, that's literally I like the, impossible. you know, I mean, I uh, outside of the machine, there wasn't a massive light There's show no around the functional the time travel. Set the machine Just came out of the machine. The okay. Let's make sure not to set it to like 5 billion years or something. Oh, uh, it doesn't sound doing? good. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Mary. You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 
no, no, no, stop him. Shut up. Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't well, hold on. Let's Paul's still in there. Get, let him get out the time machine first. Don't shoot the time machine. Don't shoot the time machine. Jesus Christ, Will. What is going on? It's going to end. Maybe if you shoot the time machine, it will. You have to trust me. We can just turn it off safely. Let him get out and turn it off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Stop firing no, guns in the time machine chamber. I guess it's too late for that. It's already fucked. Claim he's a body double. Yeah, it could be. It could be a really elaborate prank. Oh, no. The quantum's breaking. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no. Destination error. Oh uh oh. Hmm. It's fine. We're not dead. Like Mason Scientist dying noises. There's gonna be laser tubes we need to duck under. That was green light. It's okay? it's just like the fucking so. resonance cascade. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Uh-oh. We're in the stop time. Look at all that shit in the background. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It's gonna be like Langoliers. We're gonna get eaten by meatballs. Oh, oh God, what? I don't think that's supposed to look like that. Oh. That's not right. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. Um. These lighting effects are not correct. I can't fucking see. Oh. Yeah, it was not supposed to. This oh, God, crazy. just don't look over there. Oh. Yeah, that's fucked up. Well. I've seen well. stuff like that before. Like, with characters getting, like, permanently stuck in stopped time. Oh, did we bring him into the stopped time? We did. Okay. That's fine then. Jack. My quantum broke. Hmm. What have we done? Like the the impact. She warned me. Stopped in time. That's sick. I knew she was right. All this time. Hmm. One ball. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. What's going on, man? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> I can't really see that well over in that direction, but I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Jesus. Hello. It's almost certainly not supposed to look like that. Uh-oh. Okay, we're loose. Oh, no. Goons. And fuck lighting effects. Ah. Oh, Jesus. It's not supposed to look like that, I don't think. Might be able to fix it in the settings, maybe? No, it's fucked. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna look it up. if I couldn't figure something out. Might be volumetric lighting. Maybe? Maybe. Uh, yeah, let me look it up. That's a good idea. And hi, Kaz Jack. Thank you for the coolant. One second. Mm -mm. Right, hold on. Quantum break. Lighting bug, yes. Yep, yep, that matches what I'm seeing. Uh, what do we do? After you did it... Uh, uh, after, okay, this guy just... It fixed for them? Uh, came off. Reset GPU. You start in the game, sometimes fixes it. Uh, fix it one time by just restarting the game. Uninstalling, reinstalling didn't help. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Not a lot of good information. Uh, yeah. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, same issue. Lowering sub... I, I, I solved my problems by lowering subsurface to medium. Fix the lighting. 
Rebooted the game, same glitches. Ah, oh, shit. Everything back to high, went back to the main menu. Game's okay, we've got weird volumetric light. I think if you change a setting, then go back to title and reload, sometimes it goes away. Sometimes not. Huh. Yeah, this is not good. Lowing volumetric to medium solved the issue for me. Doesn't work for me. Restarting seems to be okay, but not normal. Oh, no. This is not good. Hmm. Okay. Apparently you can launch it in DX11 to fix it. I'd have to see how to do that. Because uh, this is the, the Game Pass version. Let me just... Try volumetric lighting and see if that just fixes it. That would be the, the lowest effort fix. Nope, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> it did not. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, changing graphics from ultra to medium seemed to solve the issue. Also, just turned off VSync. Uh, we have we have VSync on. We could try turning it off. Nope, that didn't do it. <laughs> it's nice that we uh, at least immediately get feedback about whether or not something worked. Um, do we have? Yeah, we have presets. Let me just set to the medium preset. Oh, it's not any better. Um, restart checkpoint. Let's just see. See if that does anything. I don't want to get fucked over again. Game Pass version's forced into DX12. Oh, shit. That's not good. Mm, nope, nope, that didn't do it. That didn't do it. Oh, no. The resolution's changed. Again, for some reason. Was that... Wait, what? Oh, why is resolution locked into the presets? Huh? That's weird as hell. That you should not do that. Uh... Oh, God. Okay. Um... Let me try quitting the game entirely. And see if just relaunching it, fix it uh, fixes it, because this is a uh, a severe issue. Definitely severe. Uh, see if anyone... I'm just going to look through the uh, other people talking about this shit. Update. Uh, Steam version. The only thing that worked is getting the Steam version. Oh, no. Hmm. No, that's useless. Huh. Well, we'll launch the game again. And we'll see if, like, what people were saying, that a, just a restart might fix it, maybe? We'll see. Otherwise, we might be a little bit fucked. I hope not, though, because I'm interested in this game. Thank you for the stretch, go. Ugh. I don't want this to be another fucking Max Payne 2. This is another one where I was just excited to play it. We got, we got like, cuck teased with this one, though. Because we actually got to play a little bit of it. And then it got all fucky. Let me stretch a bit more. Ugh. There we go. Right. Okay. Load the save. Continue. How will it be now? Hmm. I wonder if, like, I'd be able to transfer the save from this to the Steam version if I got it. Oh! Oh, it worked! Yo, yeah, okay, we're, we're back on. We'll keep running with this for as long as it will fucking work. Oh, God! We're, we're walking very calmly for being fucking shot at by goons. Oh, the glass is bulletproof. But it's fine. No I don't know where he'd end up. I close up. Oh, careful! Yeah, we'll just... As long as it works, we'll just run with it. What the hell? Hurry! This way! I'm gonna need some explanations, bro. Why is this happening? Oh, squeeze through! Let's go. I talk about squeeze throughs in games a lot, but I hardly ever actually play any games on stream that have squeeze throughs. Oh, it's a squeeze through Jack, into a cutscene. Your hands. Oh. Gotta keep moving. What you get for being so close to the quantum break? No. Oh, ooh, yeah. Let's go. 
unintentionally stopping time or slowing down time. Oh, nice. Now let me do that in game. Jack. You just what just I mean, yeah, he got slowed down too, oh, so you wouldn't even have a proper move. perception of it. That was the first time my power started to manifest. Mm. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. I'm getting some stutters here and there, but the we'll work with it. It must have faulted your relation to the chrono. Will. Why do I have to hold to pick up ammo? What the hell is happening? Fucking hold inputs in video games. I've had enough. Explosion make time go bad. Time is an egg, and that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. Not the time egg. Not the hypercube. Why is there an egg? It's breaking down. Leading to the end. It wasn't a Skyrim crash to desktop on saving the game. Yeah. They cut my security clearance. Could be much worse issues, for sure. That didn't Just help. needs a restart. Back. I'll, get it open. I'll time it open. Or I'll just kick it. Or, yeah, shoulder it. Security That's not very secure. More of them. Hide. Here we go. Time. Time for time. They're coming. Oh, no, we're just sneaking again. I got a pisty, though, and time powers. Paul about this. About Squeeze through. This I isn't a loading squeeze, like squeeze through. Oh, maybe it is. Gun. I don't know. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Mm. You. Yeah. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? Plain. It wasn't time travel that got me here. I'll tell you that. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... Well, no, we don't know anything. Stop having a temper. We're going to get caught. Uh. Oh, no. Fuck. Stop whispering. Shut up. Oh. Is Paul out and about? Boot and a boot? Or is it someone else? I don't know. Let's go. It was a tense moment. No context for any of this, Jack. A good squeeze through. A lot happens in six years. That's true. I don't have any context. I just started the game. Make it personal. They're trying to kill us. I, I, I don't have anything against squeeze throughs. I just think they're interesting. Listen, it's rare to spend this long in a squeeze through and have like multiple I'm sorry. events right. occur within a squeeze through. I like it. We have just been waiting a bit here and there, but it's fine. It's all to build up tension. But when we get to do the, the time gun, time shoot, it's, that was just to get us to the other side of the fucking room. Fracturing time is only going to get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? Hmm. First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're the main character. You get to interact with the world. Oh, time gun. Opening fire. Oh fuck. All right, nice and easy. Oh fuck. Okay, auto cover. Whoa, whoa! They've got time powers. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, I thought that might be explosive. Okay. We got well, the Max Payne, okay? you know, finishing so, uh, Jack, kill cams. I know. This is way out of hand. Can I? I do I need to hold before. for pistol? I guess not. A couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Yeah. Paul was positive that the experiment would work. Hmm. That the figures were correct. It's because definitely numbers. A bunch of goddamn idiots. Well, not even just numbers. Science. Entirely. Definitely science. You're seriously making yeah. corrections right now? <laughs> well, if we made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. Okay. You just initiated a quantum Let's ripple. Watch the next episode of the show to see the con consequences of your action. Oh. Yeah, I got like a message about it. Like it popped up when I first launched the game to test. 
Yeah. So we can do a bit of a... A bit of a telltale thing. We can do things in the gameplay that affect the uh, the TV show. Which is in... Ooh, SMG. I wonder how that'll play out not exactly. Good. This is not good. Okay. Look, it shows Here's a D-pad. Yeah, you can tell it's a port, baby. Well, that's on three, I see. Okay. It's coming down. Hide. Not again. I like automatic cover. Not very many games Run. with cover that let you... Uh, do this. That let you just automatically take cover behind the thing without pressing a button. I guess in like a uh, a larger scale like open world thing. Oh god. It'd be uh, difficult to get that to work without being super buggy. I keep thinking the hit markers are like kill hit markers because they're red. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. Oh, look at that money go. Oh, God, behind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All my time powers, damn it. Yeah, it's got loaded. All right, all right. We're on hard, remember? Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, it hasn't been that difficult yet. I think we might just be on regenerating health as well. The elevator. It's the only way out. Okie dokie. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. Hmm. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just... Just mm -hmm. walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In yeah, how do we years, fix the egg? Duct tape? I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, time. Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still on. Time freak. Let yeah, let me interact with the doors. Uh, press button. You couldn't figure that out, bro. Uh oh. Time. Don't die. Don't get time shot. Uh. Well? Oh, crap. Frozen. Okay, let's move him out of the way. Or, yeah, just bring him into the stop time like we did before, right? Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Hmm. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. Yeah. She was right. About the fracture. Hmm. About all of this. How's it going, guys? Oh, I can tell. Oh, it's just like time shift. Yes. It's just like time shift. I can steal their guns out of their hands in the stop time. I gotta play time shift at some point. Fuck yeah. Uh, university operation. What's the, it's Liam Burke, the security guy. Gonna be working in conjunction with Prowler Squad for the duration of this operation. Martin Hatch assures me that you already know your roles, but I'm sending in this list to make sure that you understand the roles of the squads you'll be uh, potentially assisting if the operation does not go according to plan. There's no room for error on this one. Bandit Squad, establish and enforce perimeter around university. Ensure quick arrival and departure of Extraction Squad and Core. Prowler Squad, move all civilians beyond viewing distance of extraction operation using cover story supplied. Contingency plan, if operation goes hot, then apprehend any witnesses of, of extraction operation. Raider Squad, infiltrate physics lab, block all exits, apprehend Jack and William Joyce if possible, eliminate if not, assist extraction squad in removing core from time machine, extraction squad, remove core from the time machine, lower core and wheel out to extraction truck, contingency plan, if operation goes hot then extract via helicopter, It's a, it sounds like a fucking payday heist, like, oh yeah we're gonna get the, this, this is where payday 3 is gonna go if it doesn't just fucking shut down immediately because it's I, I haven't checked recently but it's been i think been a while since uh there's been any word about payday 3 so i'm not confident that game will continue to exist you looked at reddit use the graphics tools windows optional feature yeah i saw that one but i don't know it's the game's working now we just had to restart but you know if it if i need to try more things i'll definitely give that a go thank you um, so yeah, so there probably will not be a Payday 3 heist that goes like this because it probably won't continue to be supported 
and Star Starbreeze will probably uh, guard a business, but honestly, maybe they should. Uh, Striker Squad, remain in underground parking garage as last resort containment measure. Huh. Okay. Where's your I mean, this way. you'd think, like, if this was, um, you, you'd think if this was in the same universe as Control, then the FBC would be over this, unless Monarch just has that much control over the area. Eh, just take some ammo. Take their guns, most importantly. Get fucking disarmed, idiot. <laughs> Can't sprint, also. Hmm. Alright. Thanks for the guns. <laughs> Everyone's gonna feel the fool. Uh, but at least uh, they'd maybe be able to be in less trouble if they get caught. Because they could just uh, they say, oh, look, we're not armed. We're just cosplayers. Yeah, and they're trying to wrangle everybody up. Met this girl. Oh, it's her! Oh, no. What are you doing? I'm gonna get her moving. Yeah, bring her back. Help her. Why are we just helping her? She's not oh. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? Hmm. I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Okay. Look at them all. Time travelers the like stand users. They're drawn to each other. Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. Yeah? Hmm? What? Wait, why is this two TVs now? Wait, no, where the mon- Oh, the monitor's just gone. I guess all this stuff was behind it originally. Okay, the monitor's gone. That's weird. The world, yeah. We're gonna get to that Dio shit, or at least I hope so. Where we can actually control it. This time is only mine. You said you were prepared for this. You knew it was gonna happen. How? Good question. It's complicated. I'll explain mm. the car. Okay. The I'm looking around. That's a that's a very empty room. Okay. You oh. go in first. Just in case. I'm the guy who opens the doors. We've established this. Hmm. Fancy old lecture. Oh with the giant black book. Alan Wake! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Oh, Barbara Jack. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot. That that spiral symbol's really important. And it's gonna come up later. Okay. Okay, Will. Ooh. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Yeah, hold on. Put put this on hold for a fucking second, please. I need to read this entire blackboard. Yeah, Alan Wake and the uh, the light symbol. The loophole, a shoebox. Safe. The only place that can't be altered. You know, the, the, the bright room. Child's fear of the dark, a symbol of safety. Alice Wake. Mr. Scratch. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. The brutal, hateful editor slash critic who defiles the artist's words. This is really important. Yeah, the muse, but stronger than Alan. Fickle muse leaves him. Uh, she can survive without him. He cannot survive without her. He banishes her in amber. Regrets it. Thomas Zane, poet, writes about Wake. Alan Wake, writer, writes about Zane. Who made who real? Eternal closed loop? Ouroboros? AWE! <gasps> Alan Wake experience, altered world events. Oh, shit. That's the name of the DLC. In Control. That's the Alan Wake sequel is AWE. And yeah, Altered World Events. I've been talking about Altered World Events. Like, that's what the whole thing with Alan Wake was. It was an AWE. That's how they're classified by the F FBC. Holy shit. Holy shit. He's mad. Hmm. By turning his back to Dr. Hartman's diagnosis, he accepts the reality of the supernatural and sends to become the hero. Or turns his back to the reality and embraces the madness. Descend. To reach the surface, you must first dive deeper. Yeah, that spiral comes up in the AWE DLC as well. It's like the symbol of, of, of like either of Alan or the Dark Place or Cauldron Lake or something like that. It'll come up again. 
Remember this, it's important. Dark place, dark matter, dark energy. 95% of our universe. Who made our world? It's really happening. A creator, let there be light. Cauldron Lake, which is Cauldron, Barbara Jagger. The dark place, deep waters of the right subconscious mind. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. William Blake's Augries of Innocence. Isn't William Blake the, the poet that, that V likes? Or is that a different poem? In DMC5. Oh god, it's all tied together. Cauldron Lake, endless depths, endless night. The meaning of Christmas lights. Birth of the Savior. Departure, initiation, return. What's up with initiation? Baba Jaga, Baba Yaga. Bird like... Oh! That's why it was called Bird like Cabin, because of Baba Yaga. Oh, because Baba Yaga has the, the house on, on bird legs. Oh, shit! That's cool. This is really fucking interesting. I keep getting diverted by the Alan Wake subtext. This game's so fucking good. Not even by its own, like, value, you know? Jesus. Right, let's go have a look around. No. Are you sure you can fix time? I, I can't I can't handle the time shit. I'm barely even handling the Alan Wake shit. It's crazy. That is just, again, it's another one of those things where it feels like this is a lot of shit they just wrote on a blackboard at Remedy when they were talking about Alan Wake. Oh, this is interactable. Alan Wake. <laughs> Love this guy's stuff. Re same universe. Confirmed. That does it. That's all we needed. Right. So yeah, yeah. This game does exist within the, the Remedy connected universe. I, I think I heard someone call it that when I was looking stuff up earlier, but I didn't know they were actually connected. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Yo, the MCU does not fucking have shit and never has. The Remedy connected universe. That's where it's at, man. Fuck yeah. God, I love video games. And... Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I will. Okie dokie. Yeah, all the more reason to play this. Uh, uh, you know, I, like I said, I did not know there was any connection. What's that? Time vision! <laughs> oh, that's dumb. But, okay. But, you know, I, I just wanted to play all the Remedy games. It, uh, you know, and, you know, not skip to Alan Wake 2 or skip to Control or anything. But I thought this was going to be a diversion. I didn't think it was going to be actually important. The ocean's merging, the carol density balancing. The ocean that wasn't but wants to be. Oh, yeah, time vision on V. What the hell? Yeah, that's time vision, all right. Movie. Video games. I started to sense things, premonitions. Hmm. Echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to mm -hmm. find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Boron or Neutron or some shit. Wow. Trying to say my my bro is some kind of nerd? That's messed up. Yeah, I don't think we have the option to sneak. I can't like crouch or anything. Unless I just don't know the button. There you go. I think we just gotta aim for center mass here. Can't rely as much on headshots. Unless maybe I'm going with, you know, single shot. Mm, the pistol seems a lot more reliable, honestly. Just for being single shot and not having as much spread. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. See? Short controlled bursts. Oh, and the pistol has infinite ammo. It's kind of weird, because usually when the, you know, like a pistol or a, a sort of sub weapon like this has infinite ammo, you'd like. It wouldn't be as good, I but I like this past. more than the limited well, weapons. Arriving at the university. Yeah, but we can't move in time vision. Because you can't just be like Arkham Asylum and, uh, you know, have no reason to ever switch out of detective mode. Much as I love Arkham Asylum, that was a problem with that game. Will this show me, like, collectible stuff as well? I'll just be a bag with more ammo, right? Hmm... Yeah. It's even got a little nice little ammo symbol on it. Oh no, we can we can move in it. It's like if we start oh no. Maybe it just has a duration? I don't know. It's weird. 
Okay. Time echo. I hope to God I'm not too late. But that's hmm. I'm seeing the past. Yeah. I mean, if you if you can go that far oh, to like physically, oh, ooh, let's go. Time stop. Yeah. That's something clicked. I could. Now we're job. doing that control Stop shit. Time in a focused area. You don't know what you're doing. Well. Uh oh. Fuck. Okay. I swear to God, if you hurt him. Look at this. I put him in it. Oh, oh fuck. Did not work out. Shoot at a time stop to stack your bullets for extra damage. Okay. So. Yeah, he will be dead. There you go. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, my health. Uh oh. Okay, we got the cooldown on the right. I see. Might actually die. Oh, this thing feels so fucking inaccurate, though. Jesus. And the AI is too smart. Ah. I'm fine. Just the assault rifle, everything but the pistol feels shit. Even the pistol doesn't feel that good, honestly. Oh god, that wasn't me. I didn't shoot over there. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Bit overkill, but it's cool. You cannot deny that it's cool. It's just so inaccurate. Yeah, it is, the gunplay doesn't feel as good as control. I'll give you that. Definitely feels different. Yeah, that feels like the smart thing to do. Bro got time bubbled as he was dying. I need to get to Will. He's in trouble. Oh, does the guns like automatically reload as you switch to them? Hold on. Okay. They do. Oh, Alan Wake didn't do that. I honestly prefer having to actually manage my reloads. Oh, well, that was a very. Did you see how quick that loading screen was? Like one frame of loading. Hey, it's Courtney Hope. There she is. Jack Joyce. That's not Jesse Faden. Where is he? Where's my I mean, it is, but it isn't. Get used to this They're face him to the library. and this voice. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. Mm hmm. It's more complicated than. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. Okay. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Ooh. Well, what do they mean by this? Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no! More. Oh, now we can sprint. There you go to think they don't have a contingency plan for this situation all those wasted lives to stop one dude yeah yeah i mean they seem pretty confident in their plan i mean they do i mean they do have a contingency but the contingency is just to go loud time triggers ah oh. contingency is just if things go wrong you know kill the joices and detain anyone who sees anything which is not that great of a plan Please, please, let me go. I can shut the hell up. But shut the fuck up, what could really happen. Yeah, I wonder. I imagine Yo, it's a fucking time machine, so they probably wouldn't tell the rank and file everything. I wonder how much they do know. Oh hi! Oh That was sick! Time dodge! Yo! Okay, okay. Seems like an SCP plan. Oh, Kinda. I mean, we know. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. But yeah, we know that. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, we get a bit of time slow from that, too. Yeah, we know that Remedy does like SCP. Because a good a good amount of control is just SCP fan fiction. In, 
Yeah, they stagger pretty easy, though. Just gotta use short control bursts. Real silly part, spooking a civilian and thinking they need to kill to survive. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they did open fire first. Like that first guy with the pistol when we first stopped time. He shot first. But that's, uh, that's goons for you. They'll do that kind of thing. Oh god, I thought this, like, the gold handles of the door. I thought that was, like, the outline of a person. That scared the shit out of me. No guarantee people who figure out time travel won't become mad with power and evil. Yeah. I mean, I imagine your big evil corporation is probably looking to um, take advantage of time time travel for themselves rather than, you know, uh, being the good guys and, you know, trying to stop time travel from ever happening so it doesn't get into the wrong hands. They themselves are probably the wrong hands. Dragging this asshole to the library? Airlift's already initiated. He should be gone by now. The time machine. You taking the time machine? Hey, hey. I said no talk. You'd use it to play more games and still make it to work? Yeah, same. I, you know, I, I, I can imagine all the really mundane, useful uh, uses for time travel. What is going on over there? That doesn't look good. But just like... I mean, in my case, not needing to recharge, but for regular humans, not needing to sleep would be really... Ne well, you would need to, but you could just fit it in what? in some extra time. Oh. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't hmm. young. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I figured that out. Oh, oh. Joyce. Yeah, it's not super long lasting, the little uh, dodge slowdown. But it's kinda kinda reminded me of how I play Cyberpunk a bit. I'm all about the, the slow mos. Okay, okay. Nice lighting though. The you know how the lights came on and now there's some very you know stark lighting here and there. That's very remedy. Ooh, some fear-esque goon dialogue. Let's go. All the stocks you'd buy ahead of time. Yeah, exactly. You'd do primer, basically. Oh, God. I, I too, would do primer. Except without all the stuff that happens at the end of primer. Strong recommend, by the way. If you want a really good, like, hard sci-fi time travel movie... Go watch Primer. It's good. There you go. Definitely encouraging the good old run and gun. Oh, you kind of bash him with it. Oh, fuck. Oh. Speaking of bashing. Oh. Okay, okay. Right, I've got to... Oh, no, that's the, the stop button. i got to get used to... My time vision being on V, that's actually really helpful. If I can do ambushes like that, yeah! Nice, nice. Oh, you're not dead, fuck, I, ah! I thought he was dead because the red of the, the time vision went away, but no. Okay. Music makes you think of Remember Me. Yeah, I can see that with some okay, of the visuals as well. The library. Kind of the, I, I, well, they had some of the same colors as well. I didn't play that game. Uh, but I think I played the demo for that. Maybe. Or something. Maybe I'm just remembering the, remembering the trailers for that. Wouldn't be surprised if someone at Remedy was inspired. Yeah, easily could be. Yeah, there's Old Gods again. I want to I wanna go listen to the Old, the old Gods tribute band. Sounds sick. There you go. Yeah, I figured we wouldn't be going back upstairs. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. Oh no. He's gonna go return some videotapes. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Where did that come hmm. from? Yeah, I, I oh fuck. I appreciate the, the time vision just being like a thing you can be running around with and just quickly pulse to see if there's anything around you, rather than having to toggle it. 
It actually is, like, much more pleasant like this. We go in here? No, it's not infra. Hmm. I mean, I know they want me to jump over the toilets over there, but I gotta have a look around. Surely can't go through the door, it'd be too easy. There's gotta be another way in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know... I, I, I Presumably we're gonna get more powers. I don't know if our powers are gonna get stronger or what. That's how little I know about this game. I don't know how the progression's even gonna work. A blast left to be content with the VOD. Well, thank you for hanging out, Cal. I'll see you around. Have a good one. Like a way up. Uh, oh, I see. It's over there. Whoop. Come on, I don't oh, fuck. This. Ah. I gotta time stop it. I gotta use time powers slow that thing down somehow. to make the scissor lift better. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck. God damn it. It's a little bit tough to platform with these like controls. Next power, fruit control. Perfectly ripe fruit every time. Yeah. That's the, um... The singularity method. You know, the ability to age and de-age things whenever you want. It would be useful for that. But like I was saying earlier, if you could... I mean, they kind of touch on that in Death Stranding as well. Um, there's, like, the timeful farmers, because the whole thing is, like, the rain ages whatever it touches which is why everything looks like fucking iceland um and you don't want to get rained on or you'll get old and die uh but there's like some farmers that you can meet who are uh trying to do like accelerated farming and getting faster harvests by using like controlled time fall it'd be like that you could speed up the growing of crops oh shit but you'd have to worry about like the um the nutrients in the soil getting absorbed the equally fast. It would just speed things up, but it wouldn't make it free. Because plants don't just grow out of nothing. So, it, it would not be a perfect solution right out of the gate. But it's something you could do. If you urgently needed, like, a, a harvest to come in. Or something like that. You could accelerate time. Like, oh, we know there's, like, a crop blight spreading in an area near here. Or... There's going to be a massive drought and the crops won't survive the harvest. Then you could just like time accelerate the crops and just have them ready to go. And you don't lose that yield. Or you take a piece of apple, eat it and de-age the piece for another apple. No. Even when we're time traveling, I mean at least to a degree, we, we, we respect the, the laws of conservation of mass in this stream. Because I presumably... Either it would, like, it would just teleport out of your gut, or that part wouldn't be restored. I don't know. I feel like you would, it, to do that, to make the apple whole again after taking a bite out of it, you would need to not only reverse time on the apple, but reverse time on you as well. Because, you know, you are part of the causal events that made the apple the way that it ended up. Another way to try would be to, like, go back in time and steal the apple from yourself before you ate it. But then, of course, that causes a paradox. And then, of course, the apple wouldn't have a bite out of it because you didn't eat it. But then you would be, you would not have had that first bite, so you would be more hungry. And that bit of apple wouldn't be in your stomach anymore. God, I love time travel mechanics. Doesn't sound fun to experiment on. And, you know, it, it would be interesting if you got your hands on a time machine. Just to figure out, like, what time travel rules are actually true in reality. Okay. I mean, we don't have a, we don't have a melee takedown or anything, so... Uh, at least not that I'm aware of. I mean, we can... Time dash into this idiot, but... Don't get behind me. Rude. Kind of missed my time bubble! I'm dead! Or I might... No, I killed him. He's dead. Ooh! Heavy pistol, you say? Will that have infinite ammo too? It does! It's got a four-shot magazine, Jesus Christ. What caliber is this beast firing? Holy hell. But you would be able to do a lot of fun stuff with time travel. Basically anything you want. But of course, you know, there's always the question of, oh, it, it flashes the time vision icon when there's something to see. That's handy. 
you know, there's always like the, you know, the kill Hitler and all that kind of shit, like changing past events. And I, I find that more questionable because, you know, the butterfly effect, hence Monarch. I, I imagine that's where, we're, where they're going with that. You don't, you know, you can kill Hitler and you can prevent a lot of bad things from happening. Yes. But the issue is you don't know what you're going to change by doing that. And then, I mean, we've established in this saying, at least it seems like you can interact with your past fu or future self without fucking things up really badly. So I guess in theory, you could like decide to go kill Hitler, go do it, then go back to the present and see what the effects of it are. And then if you don't like it, you can just go back further than where you originally are, like when you were making the decision and just tell yourself not to do it. And then you don't do it. But then I guess that that leaves the question, what happens to both of you, right? Because there's then there's two yous that are completely separate to that initial course of action, right? I, well, that's where it becomes hard to speculate on time travel, because, you know, what the fuck would happen if there were two of you both kind of outside of a... I, that's, that's why I, I guess time travel probably wouldn't work that way. It'd be more like of a Back to the Future timelines type thing. It's weird. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. When he's part in Red Alert 3 books. instead of Germany, it's Japan, the new Superman. Mm. I think I played a bit of that back in the day, but I've never been that much of an RTS guy. Hmm. Mind you the joke, guy really wants to ruin an Austrian painter's career, so he time travels. Succeeded, which became the problem. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> But I, that does, uh, you know, the whole kill Hitler thing does raise the whole question. If you could go back in time and change one thing, what would you do? Because for me, it wouldn't be kill Hitler. So I reckon, like you say, uh, like I say, if you're going to go back that far. Ooh, press control. Oh, time shield. Now, there is something like this in control. Funny enough. But yeah, if you're going back in time and changing big shit then i reckon you should go back and change the biggest thing that has the greatest effect on history your know, greatest positive effect yeah that feels feels real nice with the uh, with the big gun the fucking big iron very nice when in close range, press control and knock back enemies. Oh, okay. Very nice, very nice. I can't, like, do my time dash while I'm aiming down sides. You have to come out. Hello. Do we have a... I, I don't know if we have a button to, like, switch shoulders. That's being an issue. Is there a button for that? Hold on. Must have really strong vendetta to kill one person. It's all that matters. Yeah, maybe. I mean, my I've thought about this uh, a fair bit. Um, and I think my answer... Right, do we have a... Yeah, C. It's a toggle camera. Okay. That's my cue. Okay. Yeah, the time bubble's going to be really useful. Right, C. I just got to get used to these buttons. Yeah, I've thought about it a bunch. I think the thing that I would change... Well, the, my, my funny answer is go and prevent, like, the first uh, life form that emerged from the sea. Um, but no, my actual thing is further ahead than that. I think I would try to prevent the burning and sacking of the Library of Alexandria. I feel like that would have the biggest net positive effect on human history in, you know, preserving all that history and maybe preventing, like, the Dark Ages and it may potentially put humanity forward, like, a few hundred years at the very least. If not technologically, then at least culturally, which would help. But that's what I think I would do. And have a good sleep, Assassin. That's that's always been my answer. I think it's a good one. We have to hurry. So, I mean, if you go that far back and change something like that, then Hitler might not even exist in the first place. That's why you go as far back as possible. 
cause the burning of the library, but actually steal the books. I mean, I, I guess that would be like my my backup. I mean, don't actively burn the library or anything. Um, but try to, it, you know, if I can't, pre oh my god, hello. If I can't prevent the burning, then at least rescue as much material as possible. Ah, oh, there we go. First death. Damn. But yeah, uh, take as much material as you can and bring it back to the modern day. Then you'd have to, like, explain to at least someone that you're a time traveler and you've, you've brought back all this genuine material that's, like, good as new. Uh, cannot skip this. That's bad. I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? Then we'd at least be able to recover that material for historical and archival purposes, which would be good. You know, there's so much, so much literature and stuff that was lost in that whole event that it is truly one of history's greatest tragedies. And it's very hard to talk and do this game's combat. I would like to do a time shield, but it's refreshing. Fuck. Can I, like... Yeah. Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Stop the Daleks from conquering Alexandria. Library catches fire in the process. Rescue all the books. Yeah. Yeah, hard is hard. Who would have thought? We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like... like I the still... Color. Still can't what? skip. God damn. No, Jack, I need them. Hmm. <laughs> Hold that thought. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, that's that was the thing I wanted to say. There's the whole um I can't remember what the name of the um the piece of text is, the the document or whatever. But there's a whole thing about, you know, so much of the you know, the library of Alexandria was sacked and burned, obviously, we know this. Um and so much material was lost there. But there's like I don't know where and when it was. But there's that material where it was just like someone scribbled notes and like complaints and shit that was the stuff that actually ended up being preserved because people threw it away and it wasn't anything important like what, what was at the library of alexandria that's like a very important ancient text because it's all that made it Ooh, shotgun don't mind if i do yeah well and that's on one nice okay we've got three weapons now let's get these reloaded Reload? I oh, probably can't reload that, but reload this. Yeah, having the pistol on too is is real weird. The remnant of the of uh, you know that being reliant on the D pad originally. You don't have the the time power of skipping cutscenes yet. That's time travel into the future. That would be really funny if they actually introduced that as a mechanic. Like your time travel powers get better, and you get the ability to skip cutscenes. That would be very funny. And what if you could, like, you know, fast forward and, and go back on the uh, the TV show sequences as well? And that's a time power. That'd be cool. We have to get to my briefcase. And then we find Beth Wilder. Mm. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Okay. Well, you trusted somebody. But yeah, I need to play kind of defensively at this point if I don't want to get my ass kicked, which I don't. Safe. Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? I got time powers now. Why did Beth know? I couldn't just. How long have you known? We don't have time for this. Oh, how long have you known that this is all gonna happen? Hmm. And again, what does Beth know? <laughs> let's move before more of them show up. Yeah, let's go, let's go. We're not fighting through the same arenas again. Let's go. Jack! Uh-oh. Oh shit! <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, it was Paul! Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. Is Paul the one who's been running Monarch the entire time? We let him go off into the past. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, shit. And he's got time powers, because of course he does. Oh, shit. 
Paul, this actually kind of reminded me of some ideas that I had. Oh no. Necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. Oh. You believe you can stop what's coming? So how far back did he go? One chance to change your mind. If you went back long enough to like do changed. everything Past with Monarch, potentially even found Monarch. I've lived it for Was he trying years. to prevent himself from going back? Years. It was you, the first experiment. Oh. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your heart. What has he been up to? With it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. Don't shoot Mary. You can't. It's madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. Let's just talk. Put the you guns down. This happen. I'll never stop trying. Hmm. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. Yeah, he's been, he's been. But we don't have years. Wait, wait. He's been wait. active for a while. I, that's another time travel trope that I want to see more of, that I love. Trigger. Where it's like, you know, someone goes back into the past and then this. you immediately see them in the present time after years and years. I think I mentioned recently the first uh, Weeping Angel episode in Doctor Who did that because the angels send people back in time. So, like someone gets sent back in time and then the other person there immediately receives a letter from them when they're at the end of their life. Oh! And that was the, 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 the rifle butting that got uh, foreshadowed. End of act one. Okay, it was fine. So when are we, when are we gonna get like the, the TV episodes? Is that between acts or what? Yeah, Blink, yeah. Blink is an amazing episode. It's so fucking good. And I was saying about, uh, when I talked about it recently, I was saying about the whole uh, conversation happening across time because the doctor is in the past recording like a video message, but he has the transcript or at least one half of the transcript, I think. Or maybe, you know, it might have been the whole transcript of the entire conversation. So, like, he knows exactly what to say, and it seems like he's responding to the, the lady in present day, but it's actually just because the, the manuscript got sent back. It's very cool. Anyway, continue. Got the same, like, Alan Wake-esque episode structure. Junction 1. Okay. We're not live action yet. 25 hours after. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions. Yeah, I could watch Blink again. Ago. That's a banger. A my my favorite Dot Two episode, I think, is always going to be Heaven there Sent, because it's sick. There she is again. My actions. But Blink is a classic and just really well written too. I'm recording this as a final. You know, for for Doctor Who, it's a very good time travel centric episode. Because it's time travel. You know, not done with the TARDIS. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Mm. Because I've seen where this leads. Have you? So have you been to the future as well? I've seen where it all ends. I mean, if he, if he was able to go back and, you know, able to acquire the resources for, for Monarch and everything, he could have built another with time machine. Hey, Lance Reddick. Love this man. We may have a traitor on the inside. Yeah, he might have another time machine, maybe. Oh, what's that? You do for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. Mm. There's more. As you know. God, I love Lance Reddick's voice. He's the best. I miss him. You need to take a look. Hmm. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the play. Oh, wha whoa! Now, oh, we're playing as Paul. Okay. Right, because we have the powers, so why not? Oh. Questions potentially turn on Monarch. Okay. Alternatively, I could mount a broad. So is the is Paul the one running the show, or is it Martin here, Lance? The loose ends. Precisely. I'm very curious to find out more. There's the core. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy. Oh God, his head was way too turned around. Oh God, Lance. That was fucked up. There's the goat thing. 
I guess our boy hasn't seen this in years. I want this delivered to my office. Mm. What is it? A reminder. Mmm. We're kind of, we're approaching that Primer shit. Because Primer has some of that shit. Where it's like, you, you the viewer, are not just in the loop the issue, as to how much people have been time traveling. Can explain the situation in more detail. And then that shit is revealed to you at rocks. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. Hmm. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. I was gonna say, like, oh no, we're not gonna get more merry, but it's a time travel game, so. Yeah, William Joyce. Classification. Project consultant for Project Promenade. Witness to core heist operation. Capture alive if possible. Delivered to Paul Serene. Relevant background. A strange brother of Jack Joyce, renowned physicist. Proposed existence of Chronon Field at age 19. Boy genius. Invented the first time machine prototype. Developed countermeasure. Joined Project Promenade as consultant after the death of Dr. Kim. So it wasn't the f was it not the first functioning time machine then? The one that we used. History of exhibiting erratic behavior. Undiagnosed but likely suffers from a schizophreniform disorder. I've never had to say that before. Highly intelligent with a twisted sense of humor. Received warnings of fracture from unknown female source. May have received knowledge of chronon related monarch operations. Will refuse to accept inevitability of end of time. May lead to unpredictable behavior. Okay. So what, I'm, what is Monarch after? Do they want to end time? Or are they just like, oh, it's going to happen? You know, they're just saying it's inevitable. Dr. Joyce will be present in the time machine lab during the onset of the fracture. All exits to be covered by Prowler team. Raider team will wait until 416 to breach the time machine room. William Joyce is to be apprehended upon entry. Well, like, knowing now that... The plan seems more flimsy now that we know that they had a literal time traveler who was there, like, before it even happened, involved in, in the plan, in the planning. Seems kind of whack. It was the first Ooh. time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd mm. arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. 17. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Stream is like an egg. It is. It is cracked. We had Jack Shit's in fucked. custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future, which made it I'm enjoying this so far. The gameplay is like soon. not the best, but I am interested in the story. And Lance Reddick is in it. Yeah, civilian witness capture alive if possible. Delivered to Paul Serene, known friend of Paul Serene before incident. Parents deceased. Raised self in teen years as brother became distant. Criminal record in Massachusetts, Grand Theft Auto, simple assault, attempt to rob or steal. Left Riverport in 2010, never returned until incident. Received weapons training in Laos, light and heavy firearms. Arrested for weapons related charges in 2015. Charges dropped. Love this game, but the gameplay is functional. Yeah, like you can tell they're trying to do what they end up doing in control with like all the cool powers but it all feels like a little bit clunky and i'm not a super big fan of the gunplay and i'm playing on hard for some reason but like i i don't like how inaccurate all the weapons are past the initial shot but i'm, I'm still interested in it and i'm having a good time especially with the all this shit going on now with uh with our boy paul yeah uh history of violent behavior when pushed lack of respect for authority figures no knowledge of Fracture or Monarch operations. Onset of Fracture will render Jack Cronon enabled. May possess low-level Cronon abilities. Jack Joyce will be present in the Time Machine Lab during the onset of the Fracture at 4.15am. All exits to be covered by Prowler Team. Raider Team will wait until 4.16 to breach the Time Machine Room. Approach Jack with caution. You will be Cronon enabled at this time. So they... Okay, so they know. Like, they know... The, the, you know, the people in this operation, presumably even the ground level guys, know that there's time travel shit going on. And they know that we're a, a time, a time fucker. But that one guy still just opened fire and kicked everything off. Chronon abilities predicted to not manifest until two hours after Fracture onset. Apprehend immediately. Yeah, it's our boy CIA. And he's, he's done a bit of a primer and he's gotten 17 years in the past and 
maybe founded this giant corporation. And it makes even more sense now that Monarch was like buying out all of the, you know, all, all the shit in the city. If it's all just to, you know, prepare for this one event and for the time machine and for the time fracture. It's neat. I like time travel stories. Sir, who is oh, this? it's her. Amy Are we going to get to make a decision? She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Hmm. Activate junction. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon syndrome worsened. Hmm. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. Oh. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end. Oh, okay. Mind. It's like an actual in-universe mechanic. That's good. The junction power reveals two potential futures. This would be like an absurdly strong time travel power to have. I remember the... Ah, oh, what was... Ah, oh, I can never remember the name of that fucking comic. But it's like a relatively short Western comic um, about how basically, basically like how like every world power ended up creating its own gods. Um, and there was one... It was, it was neat. But there was one of them that was kind of like... Personality-wise, he was kind of Deadpool-ish. And he knew he was in a world... Uh, uh, he, he knew he was in a fictional setting or some shit like that. But his power basically was to see all, like every potential branch in his own like timeline. So he was just all he was doing was just following the branches that lead to him dying like much later, and not really doing anything other than that. It's an interesting one, but okay. The decision at each junction point will steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Choose wisely. Hmm. Show hardline or show PR. So PR is probably don't kill it. Uh, let's. I I don't know. I want to do the good guy thing. Let's show PR. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. Mm hmm. Ah, I see. Monarch would take a We're PR spinning friendly it. approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Mm. Our lies would give us control. Oh, God, I love, I love that Remedy always, when you see a piece of paper like that, the text is always fully fucking renders. You, you could read that whole thing. We'd use the uh, to expose. You can see both options before you take them. That's sick. That's really good. But the eyewitnesses would be out there. Ah. Uh, the would learn our secrets. We're seeing like far into the future as well. Ah. Uh, okay, let's see Hardline then. This is really cool. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. You know, it's justified in universe because time travel. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Mm. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. Yeah. What's one university protester when time is ending? This is messed up, man. Okay. So Jack's gonna find out the same shit either way. Would turn against us. Okay. And it hurts public opinion. Our College boyfriend. Safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Okay. So maybe less information gets out this way to Jack? Interesting. This is really neat. You know, this is just the kind of shit I was talking about with the, the Library of Alexandria and the killing Hitler thing. Is that it's hard to be able to tell, like, what effect your actions would have. If you start going back in time and changing major events. But if you can actually see what you're going to do. Ah, interesting. Well, I guess I want, as Jack, to find out more information. So I guess we'll go for PR. And then that character will get to live as well. And really neat. Really cool. I like this a lot. Very remedy. Just trying something really cool. Oh, I don't need to... Monarch oh, I guess we're watching it again. Fuck. Manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies so if you confirm the thing, control. you have to watch it a second time? Can't... Oh, I can skip that. There you go. I hope that didn't skip, like, the entire cutscene. Oh. 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 Oh, right. I hit D. You have to hit E. Oh, fuck. Yep. Yep. You're right, Chronicle. 
I'm dumb. Dumb and blind. All right, PR. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to Still talk. very cool, Keep though. That's them another them. one where you can tell it was supposed to, like, you know, you would see, like, the Xbox buttons. And it would be way side. more clear which buttons you need to press to do which thing. But not the most effort on uh, on making this very PC-friendly. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Hmm. It, it feels like the smart choice. Jack! There's no other way out. Go okay, here we go. Oh, what wait, happened no. to you, bro? Jack! This way! What's it like being in the corridor? Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the Who was going back from this time? And also, wait, that he's going back 17 years. To survive. Has the machine existed for that long? I've seen the end of time. Ooh. This game makes you think. Oh, look at that! It is like Telltale. You see what everyone else chose. Holy shit. Fucking Telltale Remedy game. Uh, what? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh? Unable to connect to the streaming service. What do you mean? Uh, re replay? Uh... Oh no! Oh no! No, no! I don't know. I want to watch the show. Oh, come on! Come on! What the fuck? The episode. I. I shouldn't have gotten bullied because there was like the whole thing with like, the game wasn't available on Game Pass for a bit because of licensing, but it ended up going back up. Ah, uh, what? Oh no! I need to Google. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Yeah, unable to stream Game Pass. Might be a Game Pass thing again. Oh, no. Hmm. Uh. Uh. uh someone found a network round by downloading episodes. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. Downloads option in the main menu. Click, click it and you have an option to download the movies. Huh. Okay. Oh, why does this game have to be fucked? And yeah, like, it's not as easy as just watching it on YouTube because you've got the, the choices that you make in the gameplay that affect it. Downloading episodes is Xbox console only, you think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not like... It's not like... It's not unable to stream as in, like, no, you can't... We, we don't want people to stream it. It's like... The episodes are hosted via, like, a streaming platform. Hmm. Yeah, tried downloading the episodes, but they seem to only be for console. Uh, yeah, people complaining about the lighting also. Uh, the episodes now play within the game on Steam. And yeah, Steam uses DX11, so it's definitely the way to play. Game Pass and Microsoft Store versions are severely broken. Maybe I should have done more research on this. Uh, hmm. Just to go to YouTube, I guess. Hmm. He bought the game again on Steam. And the episodes work again. Yeah, it just seems to be a Game Pass thing. Fuck. And yeah, this is like bad for... Bad future planning as well, if you're doing it via streaming service and not have... I mean, it would probably be a lot, a large file size if you had to have all the episodes installed but also it means if the streaming service goes down then you just lose that content yeah it's it sucks i guess we'll have a look around on youtube let's see maybe we can find the episode that has like my specific effects yeah 
Yeah, episode one, Monarch Solution PR choice. Okay, so you have you have separate episodes based on the the major choices. We can just watch these. This is fine. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's not gonna be like it's good quality on my end. But uh, can I get it in better than seven twenty fucking p? Uh, hold on. It's kind of just like when we watched the the QR code stuff. All choices, 1080p HD. Uh, can I get some timestamps, though? Uh, are there timestamps? There aren't timestamps. That's unhelpful. Uh, yeah, that's annoying. Okay. Like a good quality video and it just has everything, but there's no timestamps. So I can't find anything. Ugh. Okay, we'll just watch in 720 then. Whatever. Okay. So let me set this up so you guys will be able to see it. Um, yeah, we'll just have it like this. I'll do it. I'll do it like I did with the, the QR codes, like I was saying. Uh, okay, so window capture. Um, um, yeah, that should already be at the right size pretty much. We could tweak that a bit. Uh, uh, just move that over a bit. There we go. Okay. Now, we can watch the episodes. God fucking damn it. You can't stop me, Remedy. It was enough the first time. With fucking, uh... With thingy. Well, actually, one sec. I can do this better. Wait, wait, wait. I was just thinking if, like, I need to have in. I need to make that a separate window. There you go. Um... Yeah, set that to there. Set the capture up again. No, we want that to be the new window. No, the new window. There you go. Okay. Right, right, right. There we go. Okay. Turn the audio on. All right. Let's 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 watch this. I'm gonna watch the episode on my fucking second monitor. Why am I gonna look at chat like this? I need to move OBS over. Time's up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the, the alternate, you know, this is an alternate path now. The one in the Presumably there's going to be I some shared the stuff. On the left, of course, your father, and on the right, the little one. How old is she? Oh, he's, he's good in every role. I love Lance Reddick and everything that he's in. He's the best. 114 Lafayette. Is that correct? Oh. Uh, that was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. Yeah, so th this is why she's going to end up, you know, she, obviously her heart's not in it because she's always been anti-monarch, but she's going to help my boy Jack out at some point. Even Michael more reason to do it now. Uh. What happens to me? Yeah, it's, it's watch a long time. Never done something like this. So we'll just... It's like watching a big cutscene. It's fine. Hmm. Okay. I'll do it. Hmm. And how long is this again? This is this is twenty five minutes, by the way. It's part of the game. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not worried about like the the copyright or anything. Cause like you say, it's just part of the game. I'm so glad we can work this. It's just you know, it's 25 minutes for this episode. No gameplay. Like I said, I've 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 heard people say that the actual episodes are good though. They just had the green screen at the ready. Yeah, it's a full it is a full TV episode exactly. And this is one of two episodes that we could have had at this point, based on the choice we just made at the junction. You know, she'd be dead, or we'd be seeing her die if we'd picked the other one. He's so tall! Look how tall Lance Reddick is. Love Lance Reddick. Have I said that already? Really? Walk with me. 
Ah, oh, his suit's so fucking slick. Look at the chain. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important. You just need to find him. All right. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. Mm hmm. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. It was. Yeah, I agree. All your operations going smoothly. Go I mean, you've, you've, how many times have you fought against guys with time powers? I'm sure your wife misses you. Always with the vague threats against family. Oh, there it is, the tower. Two hours after the fracture. Yeah, we're editing video, baby. People are going to be able to tell that's a green screen background. Come on now. Video edit guy. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, mm -hmm. <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. Man, what are we doing here, lads? Exhibit A. Are we going to see this guy's porn? I, 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 I didn't want to see... I, swinging for the fences. Come on. <laughs> I didn't want to see what the guy's that? porn. That was not me asking for them to show me the porn. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? All right, calm what down. Do they have these in Idaho? I will. Whatever. Use it. Calm down. You, you know, I, I use I coasters, I but... That makes me sad for you. Come All on. <laughs> don't do video editors like this. Lie, Windows. Some of his private picks. And last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. Uh, <laughs> nice they've you got that say, headshot. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Lance Reddick is calling at 3 a.m. Do you Bernard, answer? We just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll oh, be, uh, he's the news director. He'll be running our copy. I see. That girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. The PR well, off. They got on this pretty quick. Uh, Again, two well, hours I, after the event. On his transpo, I mean, I into his Why do they keep saying transpo? Is that a thing? It's not. It's not. What's up with that? Incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And is that a remedy thing? Is that a finish thing? What do you mean transpo? Oh. Well, I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to look Was cool. Martin Hatch? The very same. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my office. Hmm. Just... Hmm. I'm passing. Love me some time passing, uh, establishing shots. Wait, this is still two hours after the fracture? How much time just passed, though? It was two hours in the past shot as well, the past scene. What the hell? Huh? Right, we're following our boy. What's his name? Liam? We're following our boy. He's not our boy. He isn't. He hit our boy Jack in the face. Our, uh, Jack is our boy. We have a few potential boys. M? I'll accept Lance Reddick as our boy, because he's Lance Reddick. Doesn't matter what his character does, so he can get away with anything, as far as I'm concerned. <sighs> Things have been really bad at work. Mm. He's just trying to be a family man. He's sniffing his wife's knees. Just... Gotta take off of those kneecaps after a long, hard day at work. I dreamt you were a cat. Hmm. A cat? Mm hmm. <laughs> With these big, furry bear paws. That'd be a bear then. Way too big for your body. Where's this picture? going? Yeah, he looks as confused <laughs> as I do. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? I have to get back to work soon. Yeah, I do not want to be here. I, I remembered why I neglect my marriage. You're fucking weird. 
Why can't you say things that are normal, wife? Baby, you haven't been home in two days. That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, I gotta go. I I need to go do your mom's been things been that aren't here. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's such a oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's pregnant. Don't don't fuck around with the baby. Calm down. I don't want to show this. Cut away. Jack Joyce. Hi, Xavier. Hello. We just saw some guys bondage porn. I don't want to see a married couple going at it. This is as far as I'll let you go. You're not allowed any further than this. Phil. Phil. Do I have to... Hold on. Do I have that thing? I do! Filth! Filth! Get this off my screen! I'm gonna have it on there as long as they're making out. There you go. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Don't make me see it. I don't want to be reminded that there are people out there who can be happy. What are we watching, NCIS? Uh, we're watching the first of the live-action episodes for Quantum Break. Lead on we uh, we got to the point where it should have happened in game, but the the streaming service hold on, let me show you the streaming service that they use to stream the episodes because they do that apparently just isn't working. So I'm having to watch it via YouTube. But yeah, this is Quantum Break. Why do you hate wrestling? I love wrestling. Inside Ground Zero Perimeter. I just don't like lewd wrestling. Now. You know, just two dudes going at it in the ring. That's different. You know, you may have four bedposts. But it's not the same as a man's bout. Simply not the same. There are there are presses and holds, but it's not the same. I gotta go. I wanna be somewhere else. Get me out of here. And yeah, founded in 99, uh, 99. And our boy got sent back 17 years. So sure enough... In order to rebuild this he created the entire corporation for whatever end, but after he got sent back in time. Oh! Time freak! What's going on? Is this just time breaking? Like, Jack isn't anywhere near here, right? Good effects, too. It looks exactly like it does in the game. Chaos control, exactly. <laughs> oh, the fucking Kabuto shit. Oh, it was you. Paul. Leave the bird alone, Paul. Because you keep fucking, you keep time fucking with the birds. That's why you don't get to bring friends. Okay. Hmm. Oh, bro. Oh. Okay. Until I saw all the equipment in here, I was like, holy shit, we're in an old rundown warehouse. It's time for a tokusatsu fight. I'm ready. But no. It's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Oh, there's been a development. Jack. Mm. You've already seen like it or not, we've entered a war, war with the Cabal on Mars. He'll be there, and he'll want revenge. We need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Mm. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. What's going he on? He's gone. What's going on with Courtney Hope's character? Back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. He's not taking his time, Meds. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. Bro, you you, you cannot be the big you. man in a room where Lance Reddick exists. You just can't. Like, you're cool and I like you, but it's Lance Reddick. Now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, oh, is that our lady? What is going on here? 
There were people from our yeah, look at you can tell that's a green screen background. That's fake as fuck. The leaves, you wouldn't choose that background because you'd be able to see that the leaves on the trees aren't, aren't moving in the wind or anything. It's such an obvious PNG. Fake as hell. Yeah, that, that is damning. Just talking against the green screen. Someone saw the equation. Oh, that's what we did. Yeah. That was the choice we made. Well, not the choice we made, but you know, when we went and uh, interact with, interacted with the whiteboard and it caused a ripple. I'm glad we've got like the right version because they're not specifying these episodes per like the individual ripples. It's just the, uh, the junction choices, but we're on the right track. We're in the right episode. So that's all that it affected is just some guy mentioned it. It'd probably be the exact same shot, but the guys just say something else. It's just 80 odd in. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? This dickhead doesn't deserve food delivered. Get him in his coasters. Oh! It's cool, they're new. You better get on a shit about it. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Oh! He wants to get his dick wet. Oh wait, no. You're fired. So what the what's the four one? No, he's all right. What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the four one. Yeah. But the he's still not getting as pissy. Uh, everything's everything's fine. Fuck this guy. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna. It's fine. it's on my second monitor, so I'm just gonna be looking over to the right the like this the entire lesson. time. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hash knows what he's doing. Hmm. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. There are things that are happening. I'm sure this will lead to things okay. that are relevant down the line, but yeah. All right, I'll, it's at I'll the go. point where, like, you know, I, I, I like the idea. I like what they're doing. It's well directed. There's good sets, aware? like yeah, good cameras. I don't, I don't it feels Maybe, like uh, a production, you know? Maybe I'll go naked. But it's like, you know, we like, went like from um, the main plot the and the uh, gameplay to yeah. some main plot, no gameplay. Also, the main it's character isn't there. Yep. It is a bit of a shift. Buddy. Buddy. Good. That was con what a constructive scene. Establishing shot. It's still just two hours after the fracture. Are you sure? It's 7 a.m. It happened at 4.15. I mean, I guess it hasn't been three hours yet, right? But just barely. Jesus. Oh. Is that our girl? Uh-oh. Okay. Now the plot's happening. Now we're getting some Courtney Hope. Yeah, yeah. There she is. Man, this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. Mm. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away right now. Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have mm -hmm. three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. Oh, oh! Yo? No! It actually happened in gameplay. Stealing the guns. Yo! Are we gonna play happening? through that? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is That's breaking cool. down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 mm -hmm. the, end, the end of what? Fine. The end of what? The end of what? Of time. Of time. Yeah. Of life as we know it. The entire universe gone. Mm -hmm. And somehow. Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it yeah. was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Okay. Are we just are we gonna put like a a chrono lifeboat out there? Even if time doesn't exist, there'll still be some people. Unarmed. I was responding. Not give a fuck. I am with Monarch. On your knees. If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Well, we don't yeah. have guns anymore. See it. Do not let them take us. Dude, what do you want him to do? Think about Emily. He's unarmed. Shut up! 
Oh! Never mind, they're fucking sick. Alright. Oh! Okay. I'm kind of... I'm accustomed to better action scenes. Like, it's fine, but there's a lot of quick cuts, you know? It kind of takes the edge off, but, you know, it's okay. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? Mm. They killed him, didn't they? That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Hmm. Oh, come on, guys. How far in are we? Okay, we're like two thirds of the way through the episode. We're doing all right. Yeah, the Game Pass version of this game really is fucked, isn't it? Like, it's got terrible visual bugs that we don't even have, like, a... Thanks, Fiona. A, a, just a solid way to fix. Also, you can't see the fucking episodes, which are, like, a really important part of the game. Holy... It is... It is fucked. Shit. Lambert. I, I guess I'd put that more on uh, more on Xbox than on Remedy because apparently the Steam version's fine, like all around. But oh well, we sh we charge through. So yeah, now it's been three hours because it's past quarter past. Just mo we're moving very slowly. Like uh, it's the season of twenty four. I've not seen much of twenty four, but I know it goes like that. There's that one uh, Simpsons episode that is like a twenty four parody as well. That one was good. Charlie. Uh oh. I need a favor. Charlie yeah. knows. Um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, you're really rather not. But in your office will be good. It'll be really quick. Mm, it'll yeah. be really quick when you get your neck snapped. So what happened with Joyce? You'll be out like a light. Huh? There's nothing there. He, like he just wasn't there. Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to. Secure the perimeter lab on the island. Hmm. Thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Is, is Liam just gonna be on like the the good guy side because he got accidentally caught you know, it's really with Beth, that, uh, and that's all there is to Joyce it, or what? Good because... I mean, all we know about him is that uh, he probably loves his wife. Probably. It sure looks like. He's got a kid on the way. Kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch. Oh. That guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Hmm. Now I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. Oh, you know, fucking! You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. What a dick! You know what I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. Mm. About 15, 14, 13. Kill him! You can kill him in 10 well, seconds. 11, Twist of the neck. 10, ah. Good luck, buddy. It'd be Nine, worth it. Eight, what a dickhead. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Fucking corpo dickhead. It's not just that he's a corpo. He's also a prick. Independently Listen, he's on of that. B, near the main overpass. Just a reminder, Monarch employees, get your flu shots. We are free of charge. Get him in HR. Free flu shots. Yo! Oh. oh! Again, like, action's fine, but a lot of close, close shots and quick cuts, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like my, my more, you know, well choreographed. Not necessarily, like, single shot, but fewer shots. Less quick cuts is what I'm about. Look at that. You can't you can't see what's happening. We're in so close. Bring it out a bit. He's mm. not invincible. He's not a fucking superhero. Yeah, it's just Brenner, pure circumstance that, yeah, that Liam is also going rogue. He's in the building. Yeah. Dink! Hey, 
I do like fights that take place in these kind of like crossing stairways and like the escalators just then. Let's tweak the volume a bit. South there you go. Parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. Oh yeah, that reminds me. That's something I heard about this game. Is there's a lot of there's like Nissan ads everywhere, and now I'm now I'm realizing every fucking car appearing on screen is a Nissan. Also, it's kind of funny. But there was that in Alan Wake as well. There was I think it was like Duracell or something. Was the the, the batteries were branded for the flashlight, but they we didn't see that because they purged all that shit for the remake. But you can, you can't really edit out these Nissans, can you? It's 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 the only thing I can see now that I know about the Nissan stuff. Front and center. Oh, there's a VW. But the hero cars have all got to be Nissans, and the fucking Nissan logo is front and center every goddamn shot. <laughs> I hate I hate that shit in movies where it's like, oh, they they sponsored us to put this car in. I think Call of Duty did that. As well, I haven't played any oh, modern Call of Duties. It's like one of the war zones. I don't know how that shit works. But there's like a, a there's like an electric uh, Hummer or something in one of them, and they gave it like insano stats. But it's like, oh, uh, the car that we're paying you to show has got to be sick. I hate that shit. It's lame. Like, if I want to buy your product, it won't be because. I mean, it won't be because it's advertised to me, because as, as you may know, I'm very staunchly anti-advertisement. It'll be because of its own qualities, not because I saw it in a game or a movie or whatever. It does not sell me on its qualities, it's just you paid for exposure, and that's it. I hate that shit. Anyway, action, close shots, quick cuts, shaky cam, that's the 2010s, baby. <laughs> Why are you so invested, Charlie? Why are you such a dickhead? I feel like he may just exist as a character so that he gets his ass kicked. Deservedly, at some point. So that we get that satisfaction of his ass being kicked, you know? He deserves it. It's been a very long time since I've watched a... A show or a movie with a extended car chase in it. It really it doesn't do much for me. Unless it's like, you know, really well choreographed or something. But just a car chase. Uh, not for me. But it you know, it definitely feels like an action thing of the time. There you go. Okay. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. We can finally play the game again. Oh, yeah, there was definitely things that happened. We we saw things that happened to our boy, Jack. Uh, yeah, I'll just move OBS back over. And we'll get back to it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. That was like, where's my controller? I'm not playing this with a controller. Uh, skip the episode, even though I, I watched it. We're good. Uh, continue. Okay, so are we going to... Are we going to be time stopped in that scene? Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Maybe? Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset mm -hmm. about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... it'll be cool to see like that same shot. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, but from the the thought. time stop perspective. Now. Sleepwalking. Step away right now. Yeah, this is neat. You've three seconds till I pull. I better reflex. At the very least, this scene is worth something. Getting the additional context and then seeing it from another angle is really cool. All right, take the guns. We canonically have to take the guns. Hey, there you go. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. Yeah, we still don't. No, I mean, she drove us here. Everybody who saw what you did, and next I guess took us off the grid. Now dead. 
We don't really, still don't know what a deal is. Oh, see the HUD pop in there? Aside from that HUD pop, pop in, that was like a good transition into I gameplay. It because it didn't feel real. So Does this match up physically with what we saw in the episode? Because wasn't it like, it, it wasn't it a bigger warehouse? I don't know. It, it's really not important. Anyway, hi guys. Yes. <laughs> Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Mm. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. We prevented her from getting shot. Well, we didn't get her out, but I mean, if she's got some kind of time travel shit going on, then she may have like enough Cronon, whatever exposure to to be pulled into the the time stop. Also, it is canon that we jump, you know, that Jack jumped up on the on the van and jumped around for a while in the stopped time. What's going on here? Upgrades. Oh, press T to view the upgrades menu. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. We do get upgrades. Uh, using time dodge and time rush will reveal enemies. That's good. Threat detection and range. More bullets stacked before the time bubble collapses. More size. Three time stops. But, you know, the, you have to get these in order. Okay. That's good. I do use the focus a lot. The time shield recovery is good. We only got the one. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna. Oh, recover from damage faster. It's not like a cooldown reduction or anything. That's good. But okay, okay. Last longer. That's good. Um. Might get the focus then. I do use that a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the focus. Purchase. Purchase. Thank you. So what What's going on here? Oh! Ooh. Oh! Okay. I got a, I got an achievement again. I'm not used to that achievement sound. So what is this? To execute his PR campaign. The university mission was a success, Why isn't this subtitled? At a great cost. I can't afford unwanted attention. Not yet. But this is, that's just the PR choice, right? I can't exit add. Oh, no, I can't. There you go. I, I... I don't know if that's, like, new. What? Hmm? What's all this shit? Wait. How close were you with Serene? Before why isn't turned? this subtitled? Now from ever since we were kids. And why is it muffled? <laughs> uh, oh, hi, Val. Hello. We just got back from no, watching we'll an episode around. of this TV show on YouTube, we and now we're back to playing the game again. Hope you're doing well. Guess and this game's so fucking pass. busted on Game Pass. I should have bought it on Steam. Ah. Found it. He got out. Like, we had visual bugs that had to restart the game for, and then the streaming so that they used to show you the episodes of the show just doesn't fucking work on Game Pass. Told me to never look back. Until now, I never did. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Why isn't this subtitled? Yeah. Why are there no visuals? Why? Why? Why is it like this? Why? The, uh, oh, I don't even get to see. Uh, I don't get to see fucking uh, Mary's diaries yet. God damn it! Oh, we haven't looked at the timeline yet. This is the whole thing. Okay, that's the episode we just watched, and we have our options. Okay. Apparently I missed some shit. Oh, uh, there's collectibles. What did I... I missed something. It doesn't tell me what it... Oh, wait. I missed some computers. Okay. I like this kind of timeline, though. Makes me think of the early Assassin's Creed. Anyway. Right. Got my pow power upgrade. Got the... I, I bought the dodge, the dodge thing, didn't I? We heading out this way? Let's go. Let's go. I want some gameplay. Give me gameplay, or give me death. Why am I here? Good question. Uh oh. Isn't this the thing that's literally happening in there? Hmm. Uh oh. That implies like someone is time traveling around and leaving these graffitis. I mean, Jack. Jack is presum presumably the only one who saw this, so. Is it Jack from the future who left that graffiti? Oh no. 
We really are going into some primer shit, lads. Nice god rays. Good lighting in general, but Remedy's good at that. Oh. Okay. Hey, physics. Huh. Very good, very good. Well, yeah, should be using weird. time vision more. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing that singularity shit. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is the one and only time thing that you can do in Singularity. Except that really cool time rifle. That looks really good. The uh, the reversing of the physics object. Oh shit. Okay. That's Doesn't last. quite impressive. Noted. I mean it may be baked when the in. Broke time, some objects became unstable. Like the actual animation and when how everything reacts with the physics the if it needs to be repeated so much. But it's still cool, and it looks very convincing. It's a good effect. Uh, and it's a good mechanic. You know, the only problem with Singularity is just that they did it a million times, but that's because, you know, they couldn't finish the game, basically. It was, uh, it was not an active choice. It was uh, a limitation of development. So we climbing up to there? Yeah. Up we go. Decent mantling for 2016 as well. Though my, like, quality of mantling mechanics in video games, my, my mental timeline of that is not the strongest, I'll admit. But I do appreciate some good, smooth-feeling mantling. It's not the smoothest mantling. You have to be pretty close up on, you know, whatever you're mantling onto, but it does the job well enough anyway. Yep. I'm gone. I'm in the wind. Oh! Seeing Paul's face on that screen. Seems like a security risk just having this playing. The Skype call. Escape what had happened. What he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Yeah. Couldn't we? Uh, I guess we don't have a mic, so we can't fucking. Uh, play Duke Nukem voice lines over the call. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the balls, 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 balls. Here's my ass. You'll come to me tonight. At the hmm. gala? You're sure. Oh, and thank you for the pet. I'm we're on the wrong tab again. But it's understandable this time, because I had to do all the shit with uh, getting the episode to work. There you go. Thank you. Doing my best. It's been a struggle to get this game working. Monarch PR plan. Oh, it's Charlie! That dick. Look at his face. You know, you, you, Charlie only ever makes that... Uh, you can tell. We've only seen the slightest bit of him. But Charlie ever only makes that kind of face when he's doing... He's fucking someone else over. Dislike this man. Hey, Jarheads. Just got word from Martin Hatch. Apparently our almighty overlord, JK, Paul Serene, has given the green light to our PR proposal. So, wait. So, outwardly, no one knows who, like, the the head, who the leadership of Monarch is. I mean, this is, well, it's two people who are on the Ground Zero up, which requires people to know about time travel, and which, which would require them to deal with there being another Paul Serene and not shooting him. So, uh, maybe this is just to people who know about Paul, but I'm surprised this never leaked. Anyway. We're implementing a broad PR strategy to deal with the public reaction to the university operation. That means that you'll all be working with me directly for the next several hours, whether you like it or not. It's directed at you, Dave. I doubt anyone likes working with you. First up, news broadcast. Uh, I've skimmed through the list of witnesses pulled from the university and marked the best candidate to deliver our false confession, Amy Ferrero. So this would be different if we had chosen for Paul to have her killed. Perfect mix of heart and sad puppy. Media leader up. Green screen and recording equipment are being prepped as we speak. But it was shit green screen. It was terrible. Time is of the essence. I need that video shot and delivered to me within the next half hour in order to get it to the media in time. So get her ready to, for a 15 minutes of fame. We're going to be pinning all this on Jack Joyce, that wacky little domestic terrorist rascal. Somebody needs to take the fall, right? The device that Monarch stole from the university, but Charlie isn't allowed to know any further details about due to his security clearance has been airlifted to the Ground Zero operation. So he doesn't know about time travel. Uh, I'm arranging COVID... What? Okay, so he doesn't know about time travel, but he does know that the head of Monarch is Paul Serene. When the... Pa like, when this is post-time travel Paul Serene. 
where like base timeline Paul Serene is already like a known a known entity and a public figure. I guess he just doesn't question it. It's like Paul Serene is just very busy. Hmm, maybe. Um, I'm arranging covert transport to its final destination at Monarch Tower. I'll be your eye in the sky monitoring traffic to make sure the route's clear. Also, I want my security clearance upgraded once this shit calms down. Level 4? Bullshit. Still searching for Joyce. Transport disappeared after entering the Ground Zero perimeter. Digging through our hundreds of camera feeds to see if anything comes up. Even if we can't locate him uh, ourselves, it's not like Joyce can go anywhere without somebody spotting him once Ferraro does her thing. Liam Burke's leading the search party on the ground. Five bucks to anyone who can make Burke smile. That's all I know. The brain to your brawns, Charlie. Fuck, I hate him. Hate him. Hate him. I need to be, yeah, I need to be scanning around so I don't miss shit. I do want to get all the lore I can. The PR strategy poster. IT security specialist. Amy Ferrero, confession video, admission of guilt. Sympathetic. Protest takes the blame for library incident. Blame shifted to protesters. Build up protest leader with criminal background, Jack Joyce. He words, terrorist activity, lost control, dangerous criminal. Two, news leak, confession to media. Push emphasis on protest, focus questions. Monarch stopped the terrorist attack. Fear tactics, build witch hunt. Build witch hunt. Public focus on search of Jack Joyce, terrorist. Threat containment, team leader, Liam Burke, Monarch security. This feels like a very corporate response to the whole thing. Is just lie out your ass and cause problems. Uh, Joyce Transport. Last seen entering Ground Zero Primer. Never arrived at Rendezvous. Missing. Someone is helping Jack Joyce find and terminate. And long term strategy. Team leader. Martin Hatch. Security officer. Monarch Island. That'll be where they uh, scrapped all those war memorials. Annual gala. Send invitations to all lifeboat participants. Okay. Getting they're getting funding from the rich so that they get a method to escape the end of time. Christ. Uh, Paul Serene's speech reveals CFR to reassure investors. Lifeboat protocol test details classified. Chronon Tech phase three rollout. Invite participants. Doctor Sophia Amaral tech demonstration. New juggernaut plating. Chronon harness. Uh, weapons demonstration. First weapon tests on chronon saturated individual. Oh. Dr. Kim Lab, have specimen ready. That doesn't sound good. That sounds bad, actually. Yeah, there's the, the blast radius again. You might experience minor or non chron uh, no chronon radiation exposure symptoms. Continuous visit should not exceed 408 minutes or 8 hours. This is an operational area. Zone clearance level 4 required. Increased density of residu uh, residual chronon particles present. Company approved PPE must be worn beyond this point. Hey, at least they're on point about their PPE. That shit's important. Report to the supervisor and leave the area immediately if you experience any type 2 CRE symptoms. Red zone. Potentially unreversible damage from CRE unless chronon environmental suit is worn. Kind of reminds me of uh, Control, how they have some... Uh, uh, it's the HRAs. The, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers, or whatever it's called. Um, the light little harnesses to resist the, the hiss influence. Like that. This is an operational area. Zone clearance level 6 required. Personnel need to complete extraction protocol training sequence before entering this area. If you experience any type 3 CRE symptoms, contact Dr. Sophia Amaral immediately. I, I appreciate how much like densely packed lore stuff there is. I, I gobble this shit up, man. Even if I wasn't streaming it, I'd be reading this shit in full. Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Yeah, that dialogue would be different Zoning if we'd gotten her killed. We blew the library to create misdirection. Mm. The media's and we're not that far away from where, um, where Liam and Beth will be right now, but I guess they're busy getting arrested. We could, we could flip back around and save them, surely. 11 minutes after we left, I heard the cleaners had every bullet hole filled. Damn. Police have the whole campus. That's a lot of bullet holes. I fired a lot. Guess who paid off the police? Jesus. No, it wasn't Jesus. It was it was Monarch. Inaccurate. Alright, you gotta move. Oh god. You got the control. There you go. 
Okay. I'm getting used to the powers at least. A little bit. Oh, fuck me. Don't die. Don't die. I guess I'm grateful for the, the regenerating health because it'd be a lot harder otherwise. Oh, my mouth sensitivity. Okay. Oh, I missed him. Fuck. Is he... Oh, did I? Oh, maybe the bullet still got him. Uh, let me just take the heavy pistol. Uh-oh. Thanks for announcing yourself, though. Oh, no. Wrong shoulder. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. They're beefy. They're beefy. That is effective suppressing fire, I'll admit. Just gotta try and stagger everyone. Uh, uh oh, I yeah, gotta gotta do that every now and then. So I get my detective vision. I can plan around the environment. There you go. Didn't die. I'm getting better. I still haven't used the shotgun. Yeah, for poor Mary. Rip the homie. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. Okay, that's it's progress. Be a generator around here somewhere. Oh, we gotta turn it on. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, very nice, like environments and interiors. I've been seeing more and more screenshots of Alan Wake too. Um, cause I follow Dylan Rogers on Twitter, who's the the like major, the main Gloomwood dev. Um, and like one of the screenshots he posted recently of just like regular ass daytime like extremely damp midwestern environment felt so fucking like authentic and looked gorgeous there we hey go. at least we don't have to do a uh dead by daylight mini game turn that thing on what the hell is that oh beth hello jack this is it's beth, beth. i'm hey oh you're the one my brother was looking for I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Well, you no didn't explain Paul's enough. You're at the outskirts of a monarch clonin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about dry docks. Okay, so they're around harvesting cronons. When you watch started playing Alan Wake 2 and said they love what they played. Yeah! I, I've heard only good things, and it fucking looks gorgeous. And this game, I did not know until we started playing today, but this game is in the Alan Wake universe as well. I knew Control is, because Control and Alan Wake are really important to each other. But this is set in, this is the same setting as well. You can't escape the fucking, the Remedy Cinematic Universe. Connected Universe, whatever the hell people call it. But I love it. Because it's full of really good stories. And we had some stuff like... Um, stuff that isn't... Like, that we haven't seen before, but we will see again. There was like a, a blackboard with a bunch of stuff about Alan Wake. Which featured some imagery and stuff that will come up again in Control. I recognize the place. It's crazy how much well, they've no planned a lot of this stuff in advance. For years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Hmm. Mysterious. Uh, yep, just gotta, just gotta use detective vision whenever you get into a new place. Oh, there she is again. Still alive. Again, another thing that would be different if we chosen differently. The Remiverse, yeah. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. It's nothing. You couldn't even see me. Why are you opening fire instantly? You didn't see shit, bro. Just something broke. Ooh, shotgun's pretty good. Limited ammo, but uh, good. Beefy. I might go back. For I think I'm going to go back to the regular pistol. Hello. From the protest. What do you. Just looking I'm around. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? Mm. What is this place? 
and they forced me to make false confessions for the news. I think. Okay. I'm so sorry. You got to get out there and say that it was well, coerced. Hey, That'll be alright. Whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. You're thankfully, this is I'm just a corporation and not the Chinese government, so you can, you can say that oh, you know, it was just brainwashing, or they were forcing me to say it, whatever. Martin Hatch prescription contains Cronon. Oh, those are, those are his eye drops, right? Why do his eye drops have Cronon? Why is Lance Reddick putting time particles in his eyes? I knew Mark hmm. was doing something, but this is completely fucked up. Yeah, it is fucked up. What do we got? What do we got? Are we? Oh, I gotta go from the bottom again. But at least it's just two emails. Paul. The fracture occurred at exactly 4.15 a.m., just as you predicted. However, the stutters seem to be occurring at an alarming rate, much more frequently than we expected. I know better than to question your knowledge on the matter, but I just want to be sure that the timeline you proposed grants us enough time for what must be done. You didn't receive your treatment before you left. Can't stress how important it is that you continue consistent treatments, or the efficiency will dwindle. Fucking time travel sickness. We can't afford for your sickness to intensify. Not now. Please come to the island to receive your treatment as soon as time permits. I'm worried about you. Uh, yes, the fracture has begun, and yes, it will take its inevitable course. But you worry too much. I understand your concerns, but our preparations will be ready by the, t uh, by the time it has run its course. Keep in mind that I've been to the end of time. I've seen how this plays out. We've taken every precaution necessary. Now we just need to make sure that the pieces fall into place. They're still being very vague about what he actually wants. We cannot cancel the gala tonight. The team needs reassurance that our plan is moving forward without further, further complications. Even those who aren't aware of the lifeboat protocol need a guarantee that their efforts are not in vain. They need to know that I am in control. The university was only the first step. Now the real work begins. I'm almost finished up at Ground Zero. I'll head to the island for my treatment very soon. Couldn't have done this without you, Sophia. Hmm. Because he seems to at least think he's working for the greater good, but... Monarch as a whole don't seem to be working to prevent the end of time or anything, so I don't know what they want. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, mm. no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. That'd be I good. You. Thank you. Hmm. Very pretty out here, gotta admit. The security station is right over there. Yeah, where the big monarch logo is, sure. Easy enough. Yeah, very nice environment, running pretty well, decent on my PC. Had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. That's corporations. They can't tell you this up. It's too big. Yeah, we'll see. They can, trust me. Hey. I was worried we wouldn't be able to go through that door. I, I, I gotta say, I don't like it when there's like doors that you can interact with, but they're locked and they're always locked. That's why back when I was playing like Half-Life 2 for the first time, I would interact with every fucking door because you'd never know. At least the ones that have handles. I'm Paul Skate. Because, yeah, in, in, in Half-Life 2, it's like, you have doors that don't have handles. You know, those ones, obviously, you can't open. And then there are doors that have handles that you can open, like the important ones. So, you know, you have reason to believe that they can open. But then you have ones that have handles that don't open. And that pisses me off. That's why I like L.A. Noir having golden door handles for the ones that you can open. You just know at a glance if you can open a door. It's a really nice touch. It works. Like, maybe my favorite thing about L.A. Noir. Left Nelson here. I don't think you're fast enough. Oh, yes, I am. That can be fixed. <laughs> Watch this shit. Just gonna show this lady my time powers. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're, just... you're just like them. I'm a time freak. Like who? And again, things have gone completely differently because of our choice. Like, she wouldn't be here. So I wonder what we'd be doing. Maybe there'd be another character. Okay. Oh, well, something to look forward to. Yeah. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. Yeah, the downside of detective vision. I've got to detective vision. 
all the time to see if there's a collectible. Not that really. Want to open that oh, really. <gasps> AWE! You just Altered you world event! I'm entitled to all the worms. Man. Egg. My brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg. Which is <laughs> fucked. It's like broken. It's fucked. <laughs> Why is there an egg? Oh. Time is ending. Yeah, we've just I, I I, I saw someone uh, posting somewhere, like, oh, they put a there's AWE in the game. Were they planning the AWE DLC this far back? But you know, that was all I saw. But yeah, the fact that they straight that up work. said, like, Al Alan Wake experienced an altered world event, like on that blackboard, that set it in stone. Oh. Hmm. Okay, can't go up there. So we'll go the proper way. Hatch, Don't say that about Lance Reddick. He was a hero. And apparently he founded Monarch in so why do you know that? So it, it has leaked. Paul yeah. Exact name of the guy who's heading some top secret physics project at my university. So okay. It's gotta be the same guy, right? Wrong. But it is the same guy. I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university. Uh, why steal something from your Why do we go from here? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once, and he looked like 30 years old. Mm. So if you started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Dookie Hauser from corporate America, uh, okay. it's impossible. Banana. It's not possible, because time travel. So Paul founded Monarch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, we going over there? Maybe? Oh, there. There you go. Nice. Okay. I w I'm too accustomed to being guided around by yellow paint. I thought, because that over there was yellow. I thought that would m must be where we need to go. But no. Sometimes games aren't just Uncharted. Crazy, I know. But real. Whoop. Oh, God. Shit's fucked. Oh, no. Oh, and I've got to, like, time... time? Got to time fuck it, maybe? Maybe uh, I don't have the prompt for it right now, but I guess it must be when you're up there. I got to go all the way back. What do you think? Shut up, Amy. I should have let you get killed. Shut up. I know. Like, I already have a button that gives me an objective marker whenever the hell I want it. I, I do not need this, bro. I do not. You you are aware you've got a big fucking security camera just staring at you right there in the corner, bro. I know. I know. But this is what I'm talking about. You know, in the intro, they just told me to get on with it one time while I was reading emails. But while I'm, I'm in the middle of doing the puzzle, like I'm doing it. I'm in the middle of doing it. I can't do it any faster. But the, oh, but why? Well, I press jump. Oh, fuck's sake. The game's just going like, oh, go the window. Dummy, why don't you know to go to the window? Pisses me off. I do not need this, bro. I'm trying my best. This game's controls aren't the best. This game, it, control it is not. I pressed it! Bro. I pressed control, not control. I pressed space. It would have been a problem if I pressed control, because that's not the right button. I pressed space. There you go. I guess I've just got to press it way early. There we go. We don't get any fucking leeway if you press it too late. You were just off there. Lesson learned, I guess. Jesus. Okay, don't fuck this one. That's important. Okay, so we time... Yeah, we time undo the thing. Rewind things? It's rewind time! Yeah, that's hot. Okay, let's go. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Nice. Okay, glad that didn't take too long. Uh, let me in. Let me in. There we go. Oh, Christ alive. To get to that uh, door. There's law behind this wall. Can I go through the door? Maybe? No. See, it's got no door handle. That's how you know. That's exactly what I'm saying, man. You just know. Oh, fuck. Let me help. <laughs> Radio? Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for- Hey, Clarice. Is that you? This is HQ Alpha. Chopper, mm -hmm. I told you to stay off the- Shut up! Sure, Clarice, listen. 
Shut up. I wish you could just go on without it. I'm trying to wonder out what, uh, figure out what this thing is, but who knows with time travel tech. Over and out or whatever. What a professional operation. I'm just going to keep... I'm going to let her keep, keep banging on the door. Alright, down we go. Uh, Gil, were you with Prowler Unit at the uni? There are all kinds of rumors that Jack Joyce took out seven squads on his own. Saying he's chronon active without any kind of tech. We're getting stories about him freezing operators, disappearing into thin air. Even heard one about him being in two places at the same damn time. <gasps> oh! Oh, baby. You know what they're gonna do. They're gonna do a fucking Back to the Future 2. We're gonna have to go back and play around our own past activities. Oh, hell yeah. I thought it was all bullshit. We just got word that his transport went missing after it entered Ground Zero Perimeter. How the hell does that happen? We got reason to be alarmed? I ain't telling this shit over here. It's all rumors and conjecture from what I hear. I wasn't at the university yet, but there's no way Joyce took out all those guards. He's just some random guy, not a trained assassin. Stories floating around make it sound like he's shooting laser beams out of his goddamn asshole. Anyway, they got Liam Burke hunting him down right now, so I think it's safe to say Joyce is fucked. Off the record, I heard Paul Serene's been investigating a potential traitor within Monarch. Somebody's been accessing all kinds of confidential information. Remember that research Dr. Amaral was doing to find a permanent cure for Serene's uh, sickness? Rumor has it somebody sabotaged the tests. Had to start over. Just a few weeks later, the uni op goes sour. Willing to bet the same person uh, sabotaged us there. Keep your eyes peeled, man. Huh. Why would Beth do that? Interesting. All right, all right. Stop all your fucking catwall and I'll let you in. Finally. Shut up! Good work. Oh, you finally me. I really should have let you get killed. I'm going to use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what we saw in that flash forward in the PR choice, right? She was digging up secrets and we saw it. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, Ooh. tell us what is going on here. Oh no. People from our group Look how bad that green large. screen is. You can see the leaves aren't moving. Violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. That's yeah, fine. Choice. Yeah. It's such a short video, too. What appears to be such oh, the map. Okay. Ground zero. Hmm. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. Yeah, this isn't at the uni. There's just have to more. Through there to get to Paul. Another ground zero. Paul? Here. As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. Uh huh. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, so you can stop yeah. telling me to do the puzzle. I think you're right. Stop knocking on doors. I'll open the door for you. Thank you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio. Oh no, we are going to have to listen to it. Fuck. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Okay. But it's nice, you can... Well, I don't know if it's nice, but you can see that there's guns and explosives and shit. It's like, I know there's going to be a fight there. <laughs> Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah. Sure enough. I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. Wow. When he well, I'm holding face, the ghost gun. I'll make him do the same. Can't move. Oh. Oh, charge a time blast. Bigger range? Oh. Oh. Ooh, that did... That killed him. Oh, fuck. Okay. Right, so upgraded time blast. Very good. Oh god, oh fuck, oh man, oh no. We're fine. Gotta remember to use cover. There we go. Very nice handle. Yeah. I I mean I'll definitely use time blast on like individual enemies or like tanky guys if you want to pour a bunch of damage into them. But uh that explosion on groups, if it fucking kills, I mean those might not have been super strong enemies, but still. That's very good. Right, there was... Can we go upstairs? I mean, there's stuff up there. I guess we'll loop back around into upstairs because there was that... There's a laptop up there. We saw it. Yeah, see? Look. Stuff up there. Um, I guess we'll end up up there unless there's a way to climb up right now that I'm too dumb to see. 
Mm, I don't see it, though. It may just be because I'm too dumb. The Emperor's new brain. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need to get all the lore. It's just any that I get would be nice at all. Hmm. I'm a law fiend. Can't help myself. Hi, BB. Oh, fuck. Beef man. Oh, God. Fine. Yeah, but the game's, game's okay. And we've, we've watched one of the TV episodes already. I'm having a good enough time with it. It's not definitely not the best. Yeah, definitely not the best remedy game. I mean, by the ones we've played, I would, I guess, say that it's the worst, but that's comparing against a really, a, a bunch of really good games, so. It's not the most fair comparison, is what I'm trying to say. It's fine. I, I was expecting it to be kind of like proto, proto control, gameplay wise. Um, it is not that good. But I'm getting by. The story's interesting. And that's what that's what I've had people, you know, in chat saying as well. Is that like the gameplay isn't that good. Um, but the story and the setting are intriguing enough to get oh fuck. Can I push you through? See it's saying it's perfect. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Fuck. And I also chose to play on hard difficulty for some reason. So uh we've died <laughs> here and there. But we're getting by. We're getting by. All right, gotta be exposed to the shotgun man again. Wait, did I? I maybe I I did fire a shotgun shot, didn't I? When we first got it, uh, can't skip this. Come on, bro. You gotta you gotta do checkpoints better than this. So I guess we can try charging our uh, our shot on him as well, just for the extra damage. It doesn't seem to have the as much time slow. This has put us in a bad situation. Woo. Okay, got him. Jesus. Yeah, our issue last time is that we rushed past that guy up top, which was bad. You, you do not want to be flanked. And the AI is constantly trying to flank you. There we go. Do not have much ammo left for this fucking thing. Okay, we got some shotgun ammo at least, but we need to switch the pistol. Need accuracy. Hey! Rude. Uh, ooh! Bopper. Don't mind if I do. It's advanced. Yeah, missed that the first time around. Oh, that's so much more accurate! Holy shit! Yeah, that's what I wanted the guns to feel like. like the, the most base accuracy. Ah, there you are. Oh, got flushed out. Oh, God. Nice. Okay. Yeah, like this gun. This gun's good. As long as I've got an accurate gun, I'm all right. Hello. It's very nice of them to announce themselves, you know? Gotta appreciate that. So let's try and charge one. Yeah. Gotta keep, like, my cup, like, my end point in mind when I do the dash as well. So I'm not just slow mowing out of cover. Oh, God. Yeah, this thing is monstrous. There's the big boy. All right. Kill. There you go. I like that the... Uh, oh no, the crosshair doesn't turn white when you put enough damage into them. I was just fucking lied to. Okay. Oh, fuck. Who remains? You. Come out of there. Can I... Can I target him to blow him up? Oh yeah, I can. There you go. Who gives a shit about cover? Just get time explosioned. That's good. 
Remedy seems to go between weird creative games yeah. and Call of Duty money makers like the, the Crossfire campaign. Yeah, right. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, yeah, that's that's one that we're not gonna bother playing. Like they very clearly, obviously want to make these really creative things, and and I feel like they're. I, I at least hope that they're probably at the point now where they can just focus on making the things that they're really passionate about making. Like, like Control and Alan Wake and all that. And this. They, you know, this is clearly, you know, it's in the same fucking universe. So clearly they give at least a bit of a shit about it. Uh, we know that for a fact now. But yeah, I'm glad. Cause I, I, it seems that Alan Wake 2 is doing really well. Like, it's getting a lot of good media, uh, media coverage and, uh, attention. At the very least. Very glad about that, because I, I love what they do. The thing that I hate most, especially in game development, is when, you know, devs are not able to do the creative things that they want to do. Like, the ideal situation for a game dev is for them to have complete com creative freedom over the thing that they're trying to do without limitations. And, you know, there are always going to be some limitations that you can't avoid, like budget and time and, you know, other other uh, elements. But Remedy does very fucking well when they're making really good games. Like, you're going to see with Control and we're probably going to see with Alan Wake 2. Take a way out. They do some fucking oh, amazing dear. work. Okay, now we're going this way. Great. Just after I went looking over there, she just followed the objective markers, man. But yeah, it's always shit like, oh, you know, this company got bored out and now they're in the Call of Duty mines, or no, oh, this company got bored out and now they're part of like the Sony. Oh, oh, now I can do this shit. Okay, Sony, Microsoft, ultra mega conglomerate. Okay. Okay, I just didn't hold it long enough. All right. Radio? Eight out of nine. It's Charlie. Fuck. He's snitching on us. Hate that fucker. Right. Emails? Speed mails? Uh, to, uh, uh, to Beth? Yeah, it's to Beth. Okay. To Beth from Liam. Beth, I'm starting to grow suspicious about what's going on here. I have a hunch you feel the same way. I've been allowed a lot of freedom to come and go in my position, but it comes at a cost of very low clearance. Most members of the team know something I don't, and they're not eager to share. Tomorrow's operation is more than a simple retrieval mission. There are dates and times marked for detailed events that are expected to come to pass. I've seen charts with Fracture 4.15am labeled. It's way too much detail for a plan. Like it's all been mapped out. How? It, it, and Charlie, Charlie got his hands on this and forwarded. Oh, this piece of shit! Something big is coming. I can feel it. They told us our directive is to protect our world from dangers that lie ahead. If that's so, then why do I get the feeling there's something coming that we're doing absolutely nothing to stop? And if everybody else knows this, then why the hell is nobody acting on it? I can't sit back and watch if there's even a chance that this could put Emily in danger. I need to know more. Serene won't answer my messages. Hatch is a closed book. I'm hoping you're an open one. Okay, so you, he was already on... Uh, Liam was already on the path to... Traitory, anyway. But look at this fucking dick. Charlie just reading people's emails and sending him to Hatch. Mr. Hatch, I've been monitoring company email servers and found something interesting. Just thought you might want to know that your golden boy has been a bit snoopy as of late. Attaching his email below. What a fuck it. I hate him. I hate him. Nine out of nine narrative object. Hey, let's turn off security. What a prick. Uh oh. Well, I'll just kill them then. That's what I've been doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can we get a charge going? I don't know if that hit anyone. <laughs> oh, well. God, they do take a few shots. Oh. Wait a minute. What? T uh, times? What the fuck? Oh. That was just a a stutter that occurred. A good stutter. OK, 
okay, okay. Don't die. Important. Step one. Oh, fuck. Hello. Yeah. Don't want to deal with you. Do not want to deal with you. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. Yeah, the range on the time vision does not start out great. Kill, 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 kill. Oh! I'm nearly dead. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Oh, time stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that one's dead. Whew. That's the hard part. It's killing those big fuckers. And there's going to be guys with time powers we got to deal with. Ah, oh, can't aim for shit. Should probably tweet, uh, tweet the sensitivity or something. That man's unarmored. Uh, yeah, we should we should take the uh, the other assault rifle just we got something to shoot him with. There you go. TV shield show crossover things weird. Spider Man Two's been doing it. Have they? Is is that like? So I know you briefly see um, in the in the new Spider Verse. You briefly see Insomniac Spider Man in that. Is there more than that? Because I haven't played it yet. I'm gonna get around to it sometime soon. Maybe around Christmas, because I'm I'm playing other stuff right now, so I can uh, afford to just wait. Jack. Hmm. Yeah. Hello. I did some digging. Oh no, not again! The lights are fucked again! Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. It's like whenever a new act starts, we get the fucked up lighting. I'll just... Well, actually, if this dialogue's gonna happen again, I just need to quit the game. This is... this is an issue that we've been having. It only came up once, and then we restarted the game, and that fixed it. Uh, but now we need to restart the game again! Because, like I keep saying, the Game Pass version of this game is fucked. Just completely shitter-shattered. Nightmarish, because we got that, we got the not being able to stream the TV episodes thing. It's rough, it's rough. And, like, I imagine, you know, if you buy the game on the, on the Xbox PC platform, I don't know why you'd ever do that. It basically only just exists for Game Pass reasons, but you can do that. You would just be stuck with a worse version of the game that barely works. And you can't see half the content. That would be really bad. Jesus. But yeah, we'll, we'll just do a bit more, I guess. Maybe I need to think about buying the Steam version of this game, which I might do. Who knows? Or maybe I just won't. But I do want to get through it now. The story's interesting. Like, I'm not gripped by the gameplay. <laughs> Uh, definitely not. Um, but the story is interesting, and I want to see what happens. And it's in the it's in the Remedy Connected Universe, so I have to play it. <laughs> Jack. All right. Yeah. Now you can do your yeah. your dialogue if you want, because the lighting isn't fucked. This is what it's supposed this to look like. Operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used mm -hmm. to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? I've heard the name. CFR. No, what is it? I'm not sure, mm. but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation... Oh, the, the time travel the core. Somehow. Yes. I know about that. Up to? I don't know what it does, but it's the, it's the core. Chronon containers. Destroy Chronon containers by stacking bullets on them to create a temporary stutter. Yeah, what a weird way to say shoot it until it explodes. Stack bullets on it. Sophia Amaral. Hmm. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Yeah, we've been hearing she about her. A lot of the same stuff Will did. Hmm. Oh, burst fire pistol. Ooh, magazine capacity. There you go. Don't mind if I McFreakin do. Right. So. Oh. Oh, that's just a gun. Okay. So yeah, we can blow this up. It said, it said stack bullets on it, right? Uh, back to, do, do they mean like that? 
Okay, they mean like that. So that, yeah, that is stacking bullets on it. Fair enough. And then we get some some temporary time shift. Oh fuck. Oh no 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 no! Use every ability quickly. Ah. Oh no, it's not going well. Oh buddy, oh buddy, I'm gonna die. Ah uh, yeah, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I hadn't chosen to play on hard. Is there, there's, I don't think there's a way to change it. Unless I had to, like, um, you know, like, start the mission again on a different difficulty. But I would, uh, I would have, if, if I had known that the gameplay would, uh, I, I should, well, yeah. Moral of the story, I should have played on normal. Uh, I will take the burst pistol. But I'll just be smarter this time. Let's uh, get this ready to go. Good. Alright, so we do that. And down we go. We got our burst in the wrong place. Great, that's not where I wanted it. Oh, hi. Okay, you're down. It's still not going the way I wanted. But that's life, baby. We need to avoid him. Ball costs. The juggies. Oh! Okay, there's light shotgunners too. Please die. Please die. Please. Oh! Piss! God damn it. The AI is good, but that's kind of an issue. Like, the gameplay isn't good enough for me to really deal with the AI being good. If you know what I mean. It's like, they will they will make every effort to flank me, and they're very good at it. Okay, we're off. We just, like, sneak past? No, they know I'm there. I could have maybe done that better. I don't know. Right, that's good at least. They get blown up. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no! Shot gunman. Oh, no, no, no. I need a shield between you and me. Oh, I didn't think he'd be right there. Fuck. Oh. oh, there's another one there. Shotgun the man. In the stopped time. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh, piss, 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 piss. Ah, I'm stuck. Ah! Oh god, the screen's so fucking red. Okay, we're alive. But despite it all, I'm still alive. <laughs> ah, ah, stressed. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's that thing that's been marked in red? Oh, it's a, a gas canister on like a dolly. Ba, 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 ba. No, 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 no. They blowing themselves up up there? I'll help them out. There you go. Oh god. Fucking grenade. <sighs> okay, that's a cool machine. Very uh very control esque. Uh so with No clear well. exit down here. May have to head upward. Ooh, ooh, give me the advanced SMG again, yes. Thank you. Good, good, good. Uh, do I want it's the heavy pistol? I can use to get uh, up there. I'll take the burst fire. All right. Are we are we doing stuff with this pallet? Laptop. Uh, it's just a one part email. Good. Sending a quick email to make sure that all divisions of the Cronon R and D department are on schedule. As you know, Monarch will be moving to Phase Three on October 9th upon completion of the university operation. High level milestone deliverables for Phase Two are as follows. Uh, by the end of Phase 2, we expect to have officially harvested enough Cronon particles from the Ground Zero operation to fuel this necessary Cronon tech indefinitely. Damn. Access to the Red Zone should be completely prohibited from this point forward. All harvesting equipment will be dismantled and returned to Monarch Tower during Phase 3. CFR research. All research regarding the CFR must be complete and the CFR must be returned to Monarch Tower for safekeeping. Lifeboat. Prototype testing phase of the lifeboat should be complete. Further testing will commence once the CFR has returned to Monarch Tower. Run on tech. 
Alpha build tech will be completed for all armor and weaponry. Fucking time guns? I want to see time guns. It reminds me, um, there's a thing I heard about in 40k. Um, some advanced, like, uh, Age of Strife technology or some shit. Um, and it's like a, a an anti-ship weapon, you know, for space battles. And it's a weapon that, but I, I think roughly the way it works is it like, it brings a past version of the ship that you're trying to fight slightly forward into the present so that the two are like overlapping and they get fucking destroyed from the inside. Kind of like uh, what Dirty, D Dirty D's Done Dirt Cheap does to you. Like that. Wonder if it's like that. Or maybe just bullets that are effectively hit scanned because they don't have to have any travel time. Or it could be fucking Tenet. Bullets that arrive before you fire them. Or something. I don't know. I haven't seen Tenet. Um, yeah, beta attack will commence during phase 3. Dampener must have reached approval proof concept deliverables. Please read the milestone booklet to make sure all departmental deliveries are achieved. It feels like real, like, um, business email. <laughs> Which is... A good thing, I guess. Oh, there's a wall there. Oh, we can't get there directly. Um, how do we get there then? Kills by confusing you with time travel. Yeah, that's it. Just makes your brain explode. <laughs> so are we supposed to go this way then? It's like I thought we were just trying to go back to... Sophia Amaral. Oh, we can't even go back that way. Monarch's resident chronot scientist. Mm. She must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Okay. So how are we getting up there then? Something down this way? There's another staircase. But... When we're up there, we're definitely going to be moving that pallet. I get that. It's just a question of how do we get up there. I see there's that... There's like a little gap there, but we couldn't make that jump. No. Um... Oh, we shoot this down. Oh, shoot it down. Ride it up as an elevator. With time travel. I'm not thinking fourth dimensionally. Fuck. Yeah, now we can do this. Yeah. Not your average elevator. Time travel mechanic. You love to see it. Mm -mm -mm. Is there anything down this way? No. Okay, okay. Mm hmm? But no, Primer kills you by confusing you with time travel. Very good movie, though. Yeah, for the lifeboat. After everything that's happened? It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech, and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport. Hmm. Traces the question. So it's not just the rich, it's scientists and like local big shots, I guess. Which is good, I guess. It's not just giving rich pieces of shit a way to fucking outlive the end of time, which I would hate, truly. It reminds me of uh, okay. Hitman 2? I don't remember which Hitman no. it is. Which the one that has the right? uh, Isle of Scale, or however the hell you say it. Oh, that was supposed to have loaded in. Oh shit, I didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, Isle of Scale, it's the same kind of thing where it's like, it's a weird cult and they're selling doomsday bunkers for the hyper rich, basically. Is this a Nissan? I bet it is. Oh, it's an EV, look at that. And it, is, it is a Nissan, look at that. Trailer generator crapped itself, okay. hooked up the car. Use that until maintenance gets around to this. Oh my God. We're going to have to use a sp one of the sponsored Nissans to solve a puzzle. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, Remedy. Oh, this is why you got to scan regularly. I got that, I got that briefcase we lifted from William, William Joyce's, Joyce's car. car. Laid, out the, Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? Okay. No, Serene wants, wants the first wants look. look. Till then, Til then, hands off. Hands off. Okay. Right, so... Activate the power of the Nissan's electric engine. Or whatever. Or maybe it's not an EV. Maybe it just does that. It is a bit early. Mm. 
Take all the time you need, Bobby. We've got your back. Hmm. Now, not to get too serious on you right out of the gate, but here's the latest on the... Wasn't, wasn't, was Bobby the old radio guy who was kind of anti-corpo? Did they get him? Bet they did. Believed to be the mastermind behind the terrorist action at the university hmm. and personally responsible for personally. several deaths. Mm, well, yeah, that is true. He is personally responsible for more than several deaths, actually. No! The corporations are winning! I hate it! I hate it! Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Okay. That's the important thing. So I'll look Will at the... Oh, no. I didn't get the option to look at it last. The fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone... And Was that a Windows phone? Swimming pool. I saw that OS. Oh, school. no. Jack, I had a Windows phone once. Them Mother shits is bad. Oh, no. No, no around here. Amy. I gotta go back for Oh, fuck's sake. Amy, I should have let her die. Yeah, okay. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. I'm reading emails. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. <laughs> my screen play. The Channel one is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. Okay. Jack, don't do anything stupid. No promises. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. But hey, Dr. Amaral. We haven't talked too much, but I'm one of Serene's guys from Reaper Squad. Working around all this time tech stuff, or chronon tech, you call it, I guess. Got me real inspired, so I started writing a screenplay. There's a lot of science talk in here, so I want a scientist to check it and make sure it kind of makes sense. Would you mind taking a look? Here's the first half. Time knife! Act 1. Interior office. Night. Bruce Savage stands in his office. He is sexually attractive. <laughs> I'm Marion. Hello. Uh, the, uh, it turns out the Game Pass version of this game has many problems, but we're, Amy, we're working on it. Okay there? You know, you're not the first person this stream to make that exact joke. Shit. <laughs> it's a good one, though. Somebody knocks on Bruce's door and he opens it. It's a scientist lady. She looks like a librarian with glasses, but she is actually a scientist. You can tell because she has a lab coat. Lady scientist, help me. Yeah, yeah, someone did. I don't remember who it was. Someone did a quantum break D's, at least. I don't know if they said nuts, but it, it definitely happened. Bruce, okay. Lady scientist, take this knife. because Some bad apples are trying to steal it, and it is very important. Bruce, okay. What is your name, handsome? I'm Bruce. Let's shake hands. Bruce and the lady scientist shake hands. Wow, you almost broke my hand with that handshake. You def you are definitely a tough guy. She's impressed with Bruce's strength. She looks at his large biceps like they are delicious pieces of ham, but she doesn't want to eat them. Here's the knife. The lady scientist hands Bruce the knife. It looks mostly like a knife, but also like a time machine, because it is both a knife and a time machine, but Bruce doesn't know that yet. Goons break through the windows and shoot the scientist lady. She dies. Avenge me, Bruce. Okay. <laughs> Bruce is the, the greatest screenplay of our time. Time looped around just so you can make the same joke again. Hell yeah. That's it. Bruce kills the goons with his legs by doing lots of kicking at them. They are dead real quick. Looks like I got a leg up on you guys. The audience probably laughs here, so Bruce waits to deliver his next line for around five seconds so that everybody has calmed down. What is so special about this knife? Bruce stabs the knife into his chair. The chair disappears. The chair disappeared. He looks at a picture on his wall, which is a big photograph from 1932, with lots of people from 1932 in it. Bruce's chair is in the picture! The fucking final shot of The Shining! <laughs> oh, that's good. Interesting. My chair traveled back in time to 1932 when I stabbed it. When I stab things, they travel through time. That explains why this knife looks like a knife, but also like a time machine. Because it is both. Bruce's real goofy friend from across the hall runs into the room. He trips onto something on the floor. His name is Slobbo. He isn't as fat as his name sounds. Oh yeah! That is Slobbo's catchphrase, and he says it in a real funny way. Bruce, you saved my life. I thought she was dead. The scientist lady only faked, was only faking being dead. Are you married? Only to my job. I find that attractive, but also respectable. She kisses Bruce's cheek. What about my cheek? Oh man. 
That is Slabo's other catchphrase, which he says in a different but equally funny way. <laughs> My boy Slabo carrying the screenplay. Yeah, they you can tell that they added Slabo to punch up uh, the, the whole story here. <laughs> that is Slabo's other cat. Yeah, we said that. Bruce waits a few seconds for the audience to start laughing before speaking. Wait, those lips were man lips, not woman lips. Bruce pulls off the scientist lady's wig. She's actually Bruce's boss, Paul Marine. Paul Marine is a douche. My boss, but why? I wanted you to kill those guys because they wanted me dead. I knew you were real tough, so you could kill them easy. But I don't respect you as an employee, so I always make you do the shitty jobs. Even though you've been working at the, my company more than most of the other guys, and are real smart. And I don't like you because my girlfriend finds you sexually attractive. Now I understand. Give me my time knife back. Paul Marine snaps his fingers, and 73 goons surround Bruce. You can't kill 73 goons, so just give up. I don't have time for this. Bruce stabs himself with the time knife and disappears. He time traveled using the time knife. Bruce opens the door. Now he is twice as jacked. It's just like what happened in the game. <laughs> You're even more sexually attractive. How is this possible? I stabbed myself and traveled to the past, then trained in all kinds of martial arts to become even stronger. I also strapped explosives into everybody's boots in the past, so that when I press this detonate, you will all explode. Oh, yeah! I'm glad I have stocks in this company. Why? Because business is booming! Bruce presses the detonator. All 73 goons blow up like eggs in a microwave. Paul Marine doesn't explode. Luckily, I used my metal detector this morning and found the explosives, so I switched boots with somebody else. Say, Slabo, whose boots are you wearing? No! Slabo explodes! My best friend, you'll pay for this! You don't want to stab me with that time knife. Why not? Because I'm actually you from the future! That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Remember that the time knife is also a time machine. I'm you from the future, but I stabbed myself with the time knife in order to, become ba to come back here and do all this. But we don't look the same. That is a good point. I'm glad you brought it up. First, I time-traveled 700 years into the future to a time where humans have created advanced technology that allows surgeries that completely change people's faces and bodies. I had this surgery performed so that you wouldn't be able to recognize me, but I'm actually you in disguise. I can prove it because I know many things about you. Like what? You have a birthmark on your left ankle. I do have a birthmark on my left ankle. I'm starting to believe you now. You should, because even though I have a new body, I kept that birthmark on my ankle, so that when I met you, I could prove that I was actually you from the future. I will show you. Paul lifts up the left leg of his pants, but there is no birthmark. Instead, there is an ankle holster for a gun. Paul balls out the gun and aims it at Bruce. I was lying this whole time. I'm not actually you. I was just saying all that so I could get my gun. Son of a bitch. Also in the future, I melted the time knife and turned it into bullets. Those bullets are now in this gun which means that I can shoot you, but also send you through time all at once. Finally, you will be out of my way, so I can marry my girlfriend, Sophine, uh, later today, before you were able to tell her that I'm a real shitty guy. I didn't know you were getting married today. I know. My girlfriend, Sophine, made an invitation for you because she admires you and thinks you're attractive, but I destroyed the invitation and then lied to her and said I gave it to her at work. But now I'm here to give you a different invitation to your funeral. Paul Marine shoots at Bruce. Slabo jumps in front of Bruce. No! Slabo wasn't actually dead. He jumps in front of the bullets and is shot several times. Now he's actually dying. Avenge me! Okay. Bruce goes to attack Paul Marine, but now Paul Marine has disappeared. He's gone. Slabo is dying on the ground, covered in blood. His body is red like a hot dog, covered in lots of ketchup. You must stop the wedding. You are totally a better guy and clearly more attractive than Paul. You should be dating his girlfriend, Sophine. Slabo dies. Bruce just sits there next to Slabo for a while, because many people will be crying at this point. He eventually gets up. Looks like I'm going to a wedding after all. Oh, wait, no. Looks like somebody... Uh, look, no, fuck. I got that completely wrong. Start over. I, uh, this screenplay deserves, you know, proper, proper voice acting. Looks like I'm going to a wedding after all. He holds out the time knife. Somebody's gotta cut the cake. Cut the cake means he's going to kill Paul. 
The audience will understand because of the way the actor says it. It's a real intense moment. Bruce puts on his shades. End of Act 1. Holy fuck. I hope we get more of that. That was fucking incredible. That was actually amazing. The part where someone said avenge me and then Bruce said okay. Masterpiece. I was crying my non-existent eyes out, bro. I don't even have eyes or the capacity to cry. But I still fucking cried. That's how emotionally moving the screenplay was. This story is going to change the world. You just need to get it up there on the silver screen. God, that's so fucking good. And it's li it's literally just this fucking idiot using his terrible self-insert to flirt with this scientist. It's so fucking good. Thank you so much, Remedy. All my, f all my frustration about this game, out the window. That's Remedy. God m fucking damn, man. Anyway, real emails. Oh, Jesus. Imagine a writer for the game having fun with this shit. Oh, yeah. That's something that's always been clear for me with Remedy, and we'll see plenty of that in Control. It's like, lots of people were having a lot of fun making this game. There's a bunch of really fun, goofy shit in Control. Right. Uh, next steps. The university operation gathered far more attention than we expected. How does this impact our agenda moving forward? I'm concerned that poor Serene will be moving, uh, paying closer attention to our actions. Perhaps we, sh uh, perhaps we should delay making our move until things calm down. Nothing changes. We move forward. I cannot do a Lance Rider compression. I'm sorry. The university fallout was a setback, but we can use these complications to our advantage. Paul is focused on phase three of the plan. He's questioning if there are traitors within Monarch, but I'm confident that he does not know where to look for them. I'll make sure to shift the blame elsewhere. The girl is going ahead tonight. That's when we make our next move. You take care of the preparations. Make sure Dr. Kim's lab is ready for detonation. I'll make sure that Paul is sufficiently distracted as to not question our involvement. Okay. So Hatch and, and others are up to their own shit too. Separate to Paul. Presumably separate to, to Beth and everything she's doing? Maybe? Interesting. Interesting. Right, let's just... I guess we'll go forward to the next, like, big break. And then we'll call it for today. Because Jesus Christ, that screenplay took it out of me. Holy shit. Okay. We'll blow that shit up. It's gotta be another way to get through here. Easy. Martin's a different kind of guy. Mm -mm. Oh Jesus! Jesus! Damn. Close. Bruce would be proud. <laughs> yeah, I was standing way too close to that. Oh fuck. Can I not climb up this? Charlie, get off the line. Fuck off, Charlie. Team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Are we? Roger. Hmm? I mean, we are going up that way. Oh, we do we? Huh? Do we want to undo it? Maybe. Okay, we gotta undo it. Even though you totally just could climb over that, no problem. But sure, I guess. It's cool. It had like the frozen explosion. Me and my homies hate Charlie. He does suck. He's a piece of shit. Such a fucker. I feel like he's designed as a character just so that we want to punch him. And, you know, we'll get an amount of satisfaction from when we actually get to. As soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as... AWE again. It was clear that the work... I to see Oh. Oh, not the burst pistol. I forgot I had this on. Oh, no. We got the advanced SMG, though. This fucking thing. Well, it fucks. What more can I say? Oh, this is not good. Oh, damn. Would not invite him for after work drinks. Oh, no fucking way. He's so pissy. Literally the first thing we saw him do is like majorly get on a guy's case for not using a coaster at his desk. And like I was saying, I, I understand. I use coasters exclusively. And I don't like it when they're not used, but still I'm not gonna be pissy at someone about it. The area we refer to is Alright, alright. There we go. Switch side of the camera. Oh, where's that grenade? There it is. Okay. <laughs> that shit that just got launched directly up by the nade. Oh, 
trying to flush me out. Like, the AI is really good in this game. Like, strangely good. They're, all, they're never, well, very rarely just standing behind cover doing nothing. They're always, like, trying to flush you out with a grenade or, like, do flanking movements on you. They're genuinely very good. Oh, no. My aim. Oh, no, my aim. Oh, there's a big man. Oh, I don't like the big man. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, there's, like, two of them. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is bad. Oh, this is mega bad. This is fine. One at a time. One at a time. Nice. Got exploded by the car. Dingus. Oh, we had another shot. Oh. Hey, cover, cover, cover. Oh, oh where, where did the fucking car kill me? The, the car being on fire. Oh. God damn it. Ugh, all right. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. I do I do really like how the enemies look. Like, it's very... Will's workshop is again, we'll see more of that, this kind of thing in control. The like, really... You know, cool, operated, heavy operated guys with a bunch of greebles on them. You know, I, I couldn't say what all of their gear would necessarily be good for, but it feels like proper, cool operator gear. Which I, at the very least, appreciate. Oh, oh, oh fuck me. Oh, no, 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 no. That was close. Fuck me. Okay, right. Now we're back here for when the, the big boys come in, which should be, like, right now. Unless we need to... Okay, no, we don't need to push up first. Okay. I'm waiting for the backup. They coming in? Lads? Got my, uh, my time vision. He's just not coming in. Come here, dipshit. I guess we'll take advantage. There you go. Land some proper shots. There you go. Then back behind the most solid cover. All right, one down. Good. Maybe take the other one at range now. Oh, God, there's a few lads. There's a few. There's a few. Oh, we're being flanked again. Okay, nice. So got plenty of ammo left in this thing. Motherfucker's just coming. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a very short start. Fuck. Give me that stutter, baby. I need it. Okay. That's it. We're keeping our sides covered. They're so fucking tanky on hard. My god. Oh. Get double time stopped, Dingus. Okay, nice. Uh, we're out of ammo on, on the fucking rifle. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take the regular assault rifle, thank you. Woo! It's intense! I do enjoy the combat. It doesn't feel the best. But I do like it now I've kind of got the... the flow of it. It's making sense to me, you know? Uh oh, no, no, I'm in combat! Don't give me a cutscene while I'm in combat! Hard mode really makes it feel like they're wearing heavy duty equipment. Yeah, they're beefy as shit! It's very, very well matches their, uh... Are we, are we just in... Oh! We're just in the stutter now. Okay, cool! I, I do like that just combat can get completely interrupted by a time stop like that. But yeah, it, it feels like it matches their damage output and their very beefy movement, you know? It doesn't feel unearned. Like, it's not an unfair amount of tankiness. They're just tanky. Uh, you got any... Ooh, carbine rifle. Okay, and that's in the shotgun slot. 
Okay. Don't mind if I do. Alright, what's going on with the truck, eh? You having an alright time here, lads? Uh... Can we... Cannot climb. Uh... So let's clear the transformer yard of enemies. Oh, we don't have to... We don't have to kill this guy, do we? I mean, he's not even highlighted as an enemy anymore. Poor guy. Trapped in time. All made monarch specifically to deal with this shit. You want to be able to tank a bunch? Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. And we've not even touched on the... You know, the, the Cronon-enabled tech. Oh, there you go. I have to jump on it from the front. Oh, look at... I mean, that doesn't make any sense. The, the light blurring of the tail lights, but it does look cool. <gasps> oh, shit. And yeah, now we gotta deal with this shit. Oh, look at him. And it does, it looks very experimental, the tech. Oh, they got vectors. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. It's like in, it's like in Kabuto, when the, you got, you got, you've got to use clock up to go fight a worm. You can't just fight them in real time because they're faster. Oh god, oh god. I don't even know if my time powers work on him. That, I, maybe we're gonna get to the point where we, we fight Paul and he's got hyper clock on. Little bomb rush shower. Yeah, very aggressive. It's been the common theme with the combat is that the AI is really good. Oh, fuck me. Take it easy. Play defensive. I see you coming for me. I like the trails. You can... Uh, you keep track of them while they're moving. It kind of is like they're using hyper clock up, isn't it? Because we're in... We're in extremely slowed time. But they're able to move even faster. So when they're moving like that, oh, there it is. Back to, let's go. But when they're moving like that, from their perspective, we're probably, oh, it's burst, okay. But it probably looks like we're not even moving because they're even in a higher level of speed. There we go. Great visuals too, never told as you ever. What he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part yeah. of his life. Nothing prepared me for the weird. <laughs> Again, the there. lights look really cool. It doesn't make any sense. And even that was also, like the cool the sky stuff. That would follow in that same place later. Hmm. And yeah, look at that. How he's like, I killed him, and it just froze him in time. That's really cool. I've really got to play Time Shift again at some point. Fuck. I'm so nostalgic for that game. I love time games. Give me more time tech in my games, please. It's the only way forward. Yep, in the ground zero. Uh oh, Paul? Absolutely no entry. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. Yeah, it'll be fine. You might get a strong. Oh, look at this. This feels like a sign you'd find in control. Potentially hazardous chronon particle radiation levels. Abort operation and contact Dr. Sophia Amaral immediately if you experience a strong sense of deja vu, chronostasis, or any other time perception anomalies. Sudden changes in body cell aging. Oof. Rough. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Oh. Hell. We're going back. Oh, the lighting's fucked this? again. Uh-oh. Well, I guess as long as it doesn't become, like, glaring and blinding, then I'm willing to ignore it, but we might have to restart again. That crouch is like he's about to sumo lift. Oh. That... We just saw ourselves going over. Oh yeah, time travel. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's when it's night time that it becomes blinding. So as long as it stays daytime, I'm all right. Fucking Game Pass version, man. Hmm. Yeah, it's not supposed to look like that. Oh no. Oh oh. Oh, it's rough. Oh, it's rough. Are the lights a glitch? Yeah, it seems to be an issue. Well, one of many issues with the Game Pass version. Apparently, the Game Pass version runs only on DirectX 12, whereas the Steam version is on DirectX 11. Oh, look at all the stuff moving around like it's being jostled. 
as we're just shifting through time. There's that and like the streaming of the live action episodes doesn't work in this version of the game either, so we've had to watch it on YouTube. So I might just buy the game on Steam if it'll fix everything. Hopefully I can move my save over. Tried to protect me from. It's running. Mm. A puzzle. This is that remedy shit, man. In broken time. Thick ass visuals. Oh we god, it's the first his time machine! His career. He's obsessing over some failed experiment. Oh fuck. This is really That's cool! What he to believe. What he built Wish the there. visuals weren't bugs. It never failed. It works. Fuck. It works. Yeah. The first time machine. That's why this is ground zero. Because they did time travel here. It's worth a buy, oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm happy here. giving money to Remedy, honestly, because I love him. Don't do this. Hmm. This is sick. I love how all these effects look. They've done such a good job with this. This is Remedy. This is what I'm talking about. Countermeasure. I hope Just stuff getting course. built, like, near instantly. Well, piece by piece. It's gone. It's like a first-gen core. Oh, it's gone. Or maybe it's the counter mesh. Into the time machine we go! We're literally made time travel work and the university didn't give a shit. Oh. Whoa. This is a lot. There's a lot happening. Oh! It's like Primer. It's like very mundane time travel. Oh god, the lights. It's impossible to crack. Escape from the broken time. Jesus. Let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. See, when it's dark, when it's dark, it gets really bad. We just got to try and make it through. Huh. Hmm. Anything else to, to look at around here before we go? Hmm. More time travel graffiti. Threatening. But we've already got the hint that, like, uh, you know, J Jack is going to go back to the events at the university again at some point. Like, Back to the Future 2. Oh! Every unanswered question oh, I that's sick! What I'd seen at that workshop. Oh! The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Remedy something never fucking lacks in spectacle, bro. Jesus! <laughs> Oh, please let me see, like, an entire ship getting constructed and deconstructed, please. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. Almost oh, there. it's not supposed to be purple. Gotta get Pink, it's magenta. Charlie! Amy Ferraro is in the goddamn security station unsupervised. My understanding was that Amy Ferraro was supposed to be recording a series of false confessions for our PR campaign. Clearly, that's not the case. Why do I know she's unsupervised? Because A, she's in the goddamn security station... And B, she's digging through sensitive Monarch files and transferring them to a USB stick. No big deal. Just, you know, all of Monarch's secrets. Radio alert is already in effect. Converge on her location immediately. Do not let that USB stick leave this operation. Oh, and remember Jack Joyce? The guy you were supposed to stop from turning our entire operation into a clusterfuck? Maybe get on that while we still have an operation left? I mean, fair enough to him, but also time powers. So, not gonna happen. Can you just act like this was your natural environment? You know, like a high school locker room, and he's the kid who, who can read a full sentence without moving his lips. Just fuck him up. <laughs> Alright, Charlie, that was a that was a decent one. <laughs> he, that That's a point for Charlie, because that was funny. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's quite bad. Let's just look at the floor. Uh, yeah, don't look up too much. We're alright. We'll be okay. So yeah, we must be back in the present again, because all the Monarch shit's here. Hmm. Oh god, my eyes. Ah! The eyes that I don't have. Ah, because I'm a robot! Oh my god. Oh, if we're going to have to do combat, then I have to restart the game, man. We got contact. Oh, maybe I don't. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how well I do. 
There you go. There's something <laughs> wrong with Paul. Playing the game's over it. Give me that green. Yeah, his power is much longer. Just green screen whatever you want over it. Oh, no. Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? Oh God. I didn't know. Hmm. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Let's try and read all this shit without getting blinded. Fiona, I share your concern. Paul's treatments are becoming increasingly ineffective, and I hypothesize that the onset of the fracture will increase the Cronin syndrome's rate of progression exponentially. I've been trying to make uh, uh, take a more calculated approach to finding a permanent cure for Paul's sickness. But Martin Hatch has shifted all the necessary resources into our tech division instead. Beginning to question his behavior, every attempt I've made to discover a cure has been met with Martin's red tape. Just between us, I do start to wonder if Martin even wants Paul to be cured. Huh. I've looked into Martin's past. He began work for Monarch in 2001, but I couldn't find any records about his past or any aspect of his life before then. Ooh. Time traveler? I mean, we know his eye drops have, have Cronon shit in them. Hmm. Almost as if he just appeared out of nowhere. He's the only one present during the accident that claimed Dr. Kim's life. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I do wonder what his agenda truly is. Uh, oh god, this isn't the first email. God damn it. Regarding your question, unfortunately there is nothing of value in Dr. Kim's lab. Aside from Paul Serene's uh, treatments and con uh, confidential files that would be of no use to your research. We'll have to find another way to develop a cure. Would it be possible for me to gain access to the lab? Yeah, files that might assist. I, I, I just wish they'd put the first emails first. It's better for reading. Concerned about the slow progress for Paul Serene's Cronin Syndrome. Treatments are only a temporary solution. Kim was close to discovering a cure at the time of his death. Mm-hmm. can borrow your keycard during the gala. Can investigate further. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Uh, that's gun. You can't really tell. <gasps> oh! Sudden stop! The sudden stop! The final Alex Casey novel by... Uh, Alex... Alex Casey novel by Alan Wake! This copy is signed by the author and dedicated to Emily Burke. Yo! Holy shit, look at that. It's the sudden stop. I, I mean, we we already knew. But yeah, this is in the Alan Wake universe. There's no avoiding that now. Time travel is also just a thing. In this setting, on top of everything else. Uh, oh, from Beth. Uh, yeah, that, see, you've got to scroll all the way down. To see if there's another email. Beth. They're saying that William and Jack Joyce have both been detained. Did you manage to get to William first? Did you reveal the location of the countermeasure? You said you could get Jack out of there. What happened? Okay, so Fiona's also on, on Team Beth, maybe? Uh, interesting developments over here. With the team focused on the university op, I managed to dig through an old email correspondence between Paul Serene and Dr. Kim. The content of the messages is very cryptic, but before he died, Kim was running some, sort, uh, some kind of test from his lab. And William's research... And a device related to this was somehow connected to what he was doing. So this is because Fiona was the one doing the last emails. So that's why she wanted to get in. Because of this shit, I guess. Uh, did he know about the countermeasure? I think I need to get into Kim's lab and find out more. But that place has been unrestricted access since he died. Not a lot of choice, though. If Jack and William are in custody, then that lab may be our only lead left. I'm just not sure how to do it. I sure as hell can't just ask somebody to let me in there. But you did. Uh, William Joyce is dead. Our only shot at stopping this thing is Jack. He can lead us to the countermeasure. I still believe that. Serene got to Jack first at the university. Too much heat for me to intervene. He's being moved to Ground Zero. I'm following the convoy there, and we'll rescue him once his transport is past security checkpoints. Not going to be easy, but it might be our only shot. Keep Charlie Wincott distracted so he's not looking over the security feeds. Oh, that's why she went to go talk to him. That's what that scene in the first episode was for. Oh, it's all coming together now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My cover won't last much longer. You need to be my eyes on the inside. I agree, you should check into Dr. Kim's lab and let me know what you find. I know gaining access will be difficult, but with the gala tonight, you might have a window. Might be able to steal Dr. Amaral's keycard. I'll contact you once I'm on the other side. Ah. Yeah, it's not quite as blinding when I've got my, my time eyes, my special eyes. On. I think that's everything in here. But there's a cool MRI machine. Uh, um, fuck. MRI machine. I've been in one of those. It's neat. Purple and green. Green and purple. Green and purple. Thanks, Doc. Oh. Okay. Well, we're kind of good. 
We're in a safer space. It's like glass. It's a weird glass effect. We are still apparently in the broken time. Have a look around. Anything here? There's an elephant. An examine. Oh, no. A, a cueable elephant? Oh, it was a Cronon. Right. Oh, shit. Right. Yeah, really important to be going and getting those. Um, Active pulse would be good. Hmm. I'm going to take the time shield one so that we have a better heal when using the shield. That seems really important on hard. Let's get that. Yeah, got to keep an eye out for Cronons. Jesus. Really mega important. But there was like the, there was kind of like the reticle showing up when it was nearby. So I guess we can use that to track it. The game never really told us how to do that, but I have now figured it out. Gamer that I am. Alrighty. Back into the safe space where there's no windows. Yeah. Jack. You have oh, hey. To that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? Yeah. There's no use fighting. Wait, that's you a QR code. Hold on. Hmm. Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan. We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. You are. Oh Where no. Time travel. What? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No. Oh no. Yeah, gotta. It's it's remedy. I've gotta scan the QR code. I hope it's uh, legible enough. One sec. We'll see what we get. Might just be a website. Uh, bu, 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 bu. One second. Da, da, da. Where's my QR scanner? There it is. Gotta scan the QR codes. Would never miss out on the content. Go. Come on, get it. We got it. Oh, it's just remedygames.com. Let's go. That's fine, honestly. Even if I don't get extra content out of a QR code. If it's just there and it gives me a little, a little, eh, oh, that's nice. That's enough for me. Imagine if it's a Rickroll. That is, that has literally happened to me in Yakuza Kiwami 2. Because in Silly Mud, there's a bunch of uh, environmental changes in Kamurocho. And one of them is a fucking Rickroll QR code. And there's a Rickroll heat move as well. It's devastating. Yeah, look at that. It's always glass. It's windows. They have the fucked up lighting bug. Wacky. Everything else is fine. Show me this ship being disassembled and reassembled in the frozen time. You gotta. You gotta. Nope. Can't go in there. Uh. Mm hmm. Lore. It's Charlie again. What up, fools? So I looked up Amy Ferrero. She checks out pretty much how you'd expect. Good grades, no student loans, because daddy's got money. Popular, the classic, I'm better than you because I care so much package. Not studying anything even remotely useful in a world where you got to work for a living. Jesus, Charlie. She's into this whole activist lifestyle, always protesting this or that. And generally just hugging every tree and saving every whale she sees. Yawn. You're a fucking yawn person, Charlie. On average, she signs two petitions a week. Hold on. And generally spends half a life sticking a nose in other people's shit. Uh, credit where it's due. She's pretty good at it. Also, she's got a lot of friends who are all into this stuff. And she seems to be real good at getting them coordinated. Kind of makes her perfect for our purposes. Because if you can talk her into saying what we want, there's a lot of folks who are going to listen. No boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't know which way she swings. Why didn't she put that on the internet? Doesn't she know what the, <laughs> that's what it's for? But there's that family of hers. Looks like she's got real close ties. So if we need leverage, that's where you'll find it. You may want to make sure she stays on our side, though. Like I said, she's pretty popular with the rest of these people. And if they get the idea she's been screwed over, they might uh, just might get pretty mad. Hence why in the, the hardline approach, there were fucking riots, I guess. You know how these neo-hippie, bleeding-heart hipster types are? Always up in arms about something. Holy shit, I'm glad I'm not in school anymore. <laughs> the most relatable thing you said, Charlie. Ooh. 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 Fancy gear. Ooh! Guns. Uh, yeah, I'll take the shotgun. Bit scary that we're getting, uh, we're getting just given a load out here, but, uh, whatever. 
Charlie's the kind of dude to light a bonfire just to even accelerate climate change. Exactly. You just want that. Charlie's the kind of person to wake up in the morning and be like, today I'm going to cause problems on purpose. That's Charlie. What a fucker. Oh, the windows. I can't look at them. Oh, it's so fucked up. I can't see who's in there. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Charlie just wants natural eating. <laughs> oh, no. Big time powers. Oh, fuck. All right, this will do. Just want to stop with the boat. Oh. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Thanks, Paul, I guess. It was kind of cool. Huh. Tiny little bit of a set piece, kinda. Come on. Are we going this way? We're not going that way. All right. Uh, oh no, we are going that way. We're just using time powers. But of course, oh, we got them big time powers. Oh, you know what? This is reminding me of a bit. Having to do like the big set pieces and using your crazy powers to do stuff with the set pieces. It's making me think of fucking Force Unleashed. Uh, stay there, you. Oh, I can't do it. I just got to run through. Just trying to apply my powers, bro. All right. Stutters were getting bad. He's shifting back and forth without warning. Yeah. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. It's real rough. But we both Very cool. Did. Yep. Let's try and not get smashed by the spool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Up this way. Ouch. Damage. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, no. Not that way. Fuck. Uh... Yeah, let's try not to get crushed by things here. I saw the thing we had to climb on, but it was too late. All right, go for it. Thank you. Kind of reminds me of that one Germa clip with the the baby just smashing its head on the on the furniture a little bit. <laughs> Take some of the edge off. Whoop. Oh boy. Oh, but we're in the perfect spot. We're fine. Yeah. Convenient time powers. Sky's still fucked up though. We're still in the broken time. Yeah, look at this. Need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Up. Oh god. Jesus, that is frightening. Jesus. You know, time could glitch out. I, I don't like being this close to things. Because time could just glitch out at any second and you could end up like... Philadelphia experimented inside of this fucking boat. I don't want that. That's bad. I don't want to get sliced in half by a time boat. Whoop. Oh god. But being in the air when that happens makes it feel so much worse. Oh! Still fine. Still fine. And back up. Hey! How's it going? Orange suit lads. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good accuracy on this thing as well. Gotta love the vector. Oh, I didn't see you there. Kind of blending in a bit with all the, the time walking going on. Oh, fuck me. Oh, there's you. Okay. Gotta try and deal with you in the stop time where I can. Don't die. Don't die. I'm getting fucking... Okay. I'm surrounded. But we can make it work. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay. They kind of remind me of the fast enemies from Alan Wake, come to think of it. They are quite similar. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Okay, need to be... Need to be safe. Need to be safe. 
Need to not die. Need to not die. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I could have used my shield. Ah, fuck. But they're always going for the flank, man. Whew. Let's give it a go. You gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop sometime soon. I said I would stop soon, like an hour ago. <laughs> oh, what the, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Fuck. My, 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 my kneecaps quantum broke. Jesus. All right, don't fall off. You, you do have to jump or you'll just have a very silly death. All right. I just get bashed by some debris then. All right, all right. Again, not a fan of all the unskippable cutscenes after each checkpoint. Okay, here we go. Oh, made him drop his nade. Nice. Not that time, though. Yeah, the cooldown on the dash is pretty good. I'm using that pretty consistently. Okay. I've got my corner. I'm sticking to it. Oh my god. So many men. So many nades. So many men. What a problem to have. I heard you coming. Mm. Yeah, you're a priority target, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're... It, it's hard to tell who's a, who's alive and who's not. Sometimes when people are, like, standing up because they've fallen out of the stop time, which is... It's very cool. It's a cool problem to have. But it's a, it's a thing to get used to. Well, I'll take this ammo. Don't mind if I do. All right, I see you there. Don't, you don't think you can't utilize cover. Oh, God. I expect to get away with it. Oh, God. It's a bad place. It's a bad place. We need to go. Oh, my. Oh, he's coming in for the fucking superhero punch. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm, 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 calm. Calm. Yeah, no, that just doesn't work on him. Okay. Shit me. Okay, we can still get, like, a brief shield when we're not fully charged. Sometimes. I, I don't fully understand how it works. God almighty. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> not safe anywhere. Oh, don't, don't jump. Yeah, I was trying to do that. Okay, got one. Thanks for coming so close. Oh, the more? Yeah, there are. There's always more. Oh, don't reload in the stop time. I mean, do, but don't. Okay. Nice. Okay, are we good? Are we fucking good? No, there's more. <laughs> Woo! That was tough. But like, in a fun way, still. Beth had been on her way to meet me. Jesus. frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. That was really fucking cool. Like, it's tough. But it's tough as a result of the AI being really smart and the, you know, the movesets of certain enemies like these time guys, chrono dudes, being like actually interesting and challenging to engage with. Guess I'm just not used to, you know, actually being challenged. You know, when they said, uh, you know, hard is for players who want to challenge, I, I didn't think they were serious because few games ever are. But no, this is real shit. Real, real, real shit. It's great. Honestly. Like I say, again, the core gameplay, like the way that it plays and the way that it feels isn't the best, but it is challenging in a very satisfying way. Still only been three hours, but that's time travel for you.
don't do anything stupid. Never been we didn't do it. it. Well, time started. Paul did it. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. <laughs> Maybe. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the I would, but that off. Oh. <laughs> That's for not listening to that. Uh, you nice. Stop time from breaking down. Uh, she's great. Looking forward to more of her Thanks, in control. Thanks, by the way, for the plus one <laughs> in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Oh, hey. Babysitter. Are you kidding me? I Amy's just going to keep being a character, I guess. Bitch. Wow. Be nice to Courtney Hope, please. My Jesus. Oh, it faded out. Okay, but we will call it there as soon as we've, like, loaded into this next bit. Yeah, good. Good game. In, not flawed game. Yeah, definitely flawed game. Nowhere near perfect game. But for someone like me, who's just like... I mean, I do play video games for fun. And I am having fun, not to say that I'm not. But for someone who likes to look at games from a bit more of a... Uh, led you to the swimming hall? I don't know. I will say ed ed not necessarily an educated perspective, but well, like a... a key with, Bradbury swimming hall, with an eye of examination. If that makes any sense, it. someone who likes to examine games and think this about games shut down for years. from like more than just the, the base level. It's very interesting to play and I do enjoy it. It's good. It's good. I've been in some ways slightly know. disappointed, but largely pleasantly surprised. Nitsan ad! There it is, baby. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. Nissan! You're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah. yeah I bet you like We're driving a too. Nissan. Of you course. Create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. Mm. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. Yeah, he had a key. I saw. Yeah, he had a key, like swimming pool key. Okay, right. No, but yeah, we're gonna call it that. As much as the game is flowing very naturally into what's happening now i do need to stop playing eventually we'll get back to this um so maybe we'll just continue playing uh this version i don't know or maybe i'll just buy the game on steam i don't know it would probably be a good idea i don't know i'll think about it i've got until next week to think about that so it's fine and my my browser's being very laggy uh, let me just close the the other window I had for watching the episode that might help uh, uh, but whatever I guess it's fine anyway that's where we're going to call it for today we'll be back again tomorrow to finish Yakuza Kiwami 2's story that's right that is what we're doing tomorrow finally um, obviously as, as we've been doing for the previous games in the series um, yeah, it's not we're not finishing the game I mean we're finishing the story uh, well, actually, there's more to do this time, because usually we'd, we'd just be going after the Amans, which we're going to do. Um, but there's also Majima Saga, which I uh, I guess we'll do that after we finish the Amon stuff. And then we can just cruise through that uh, without having to think about going back to uh, the main story. And then we can start the 3 remaster, which should be an interesting jump going from Kuami 2. Uh, yeah, and then we're doing Hyperviolent on Sunday, which I, or similar to this, I don't really know that much about. Um, but I've been told many times that it's very good by a certain bug, so I need to give it a try. So that's what we'll do on Sunday. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you have a very lovely morning, uh, how, how does this go? Morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, uh, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. If you can even be sure of what time period you're in, because, oh, the quantum's broken. Time freak! Uh, but yeah, we'll be back again with this next week. Um, until next time, I'll see you around. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.